and uh, we were going to go back to our main camp campaign this week, but unfortunately one of our players is gone. So we're going to continue with the Goblin campaign, as it were. Uh, Booyag, would you go ahead and fix your hit points back to max, because I'm going to do something with these oh. tokens. And yeah. rather than do it later, you can do it now. Give me a second. Actually, I forgot to roll, get into roll 20. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, um, let's just go ahead and just, I'm going to let each one of you describe what happened after the the last battle there that you had um, before Dipso uh, runs in and and does his thing what it what how did, how did you escape the village that's what i want you to tell everybody else keeping in mind that your goblin character needs to end up with the others at the end of the the narrative remember i asked you to come up with a story anybody got one i hear a whole lot of quiet <laughs> Dipso's Sometimes Dipso's good, you know. He he, know, he can do his, I guess, while the others are thinking. Oh yeah, you guys. I was injured. I was letting you guys escape, kiting around the giant mimic house. This one right here. Yep. As soon as I saw you guys were basically, as soon as I couldn't see you anymore, I lit my torch. And like that Urukai in Lord of the Rings at the Helm's Deep, I ran and just dived the way doing what I always wanted to do, lighting that gunpowder room up. Which I'd like to say that you, you fell into the powder and the and the torch fell into the powder and it didn't ignite right away. <laughs> so you you had this moment when that, that giant house was was coming up towards the black powder room where you're like it didn't explode and then it exploded <laughs> but then i remembered i killed draz right before the end so i smirked that fucker that put me out of business back in the day i had big dreams of becoming a cook took him away All right, so that was a dip, so it was a glorious tale. Next. All right, calling names. Booyog, what did you do? Oh, man. All right. Sit down. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ben's already seen it. <laughs> yeah. So I guess in, in this, with my story, it kind of takes a while for the um, the explosion to happen. It kind of ends ends up at the end of my story. All right, so Booyag ran back to Sharon in a daze to get her out, but found her whack a mole a few uh, potion mimics and not faring too badly. Of course, she blamed Booyag and his fam friends for all of it, but he stuck around to help in spite of her promises of her skillet reacquainting with this brain pan. So I'm reading a script. <laughs> Uh, burning down the hut to kill the beasties probably didn't help his case. Booyag thought he might be in, in the clear when a mimic slapped the frying pan from her hand, soaring out of sight and clanging somewhere in the wreckage of their hut. Booyag giggled to himself at that. As they continued to battle the little monsters, Sharon fell to the ground, laughing hysterically for no reason at all. Reason at all. Must be the stress. Uh, remember, there's wild magic involved here, so weird things happen. Now he was doing all the work and probably wouldn't get any credit for any of it, like usual. Booyag killed the last bugger in the now-blazing hut, picking up a gem that somehow just appeared at his feet while blasting a monster. Dragging out the now-useless and giggling Sharon into the marsh away from the village, they were caught by a tricksy mimic that was, going, that was posing as a tree stump. At least Sharon stopped laughing by this time, but nearly got swallowed by the not-a-stump-at-all when she tried to rest her bony green rump on it. Keeping a distance, Booyag began fighting the stump creature 
and when it ju- when it just started to dance on its roots and then suddenly just stopped. He guess it decided it wasn't in the mood to dance at all. Sharon wasn't looking so good after the stump took a bite out of her left butt cheek, but she did manage to break free. However, she didn't move fast enough before the stump lashed out a root and struck her down. And just as he sent another bolt of magic at the beastie in his vengeance, Booyag apparated in the middle of a flock of rays- ravens 30 feet away for- from where he was standing, even farther from the creature and his Sharon. Ravens bursting around and away from him, Booyag sent another bolt at the creature, who now looked really rough and certainly wouldn't want to dance now. The knot stump, trying to catch up to the last goblin standing, barely gets hit by one last spell, taking a little damage, and then the stump just turns into stone and stops attacking. Really weird. But Sharon, his oppressive beauty never to rise again, the life being chewed and slapped out of her forever, lay still. Scarcely hanging on to consciousness, Booyag knew he couldn't stay, so he turned to make his escape, only to hear an incredibly loud explosion come from the center of his ruined vil- village. Looking back, he caught a glimpse of a very familiar black-handled pan fly straight onto his noggin with an oft heard and all too familiar ping. And then there was darkness. Finally, coming to near evening, he decided to bury Sharon in a shallow grave, which was more of a puddle when dug in a stinky marsh, and in an uncharacteristically magnanimous moment traded his new gem for the frying pan, burying it with her in the barely a grave ditch. Besides, if she wasn't really gone, he preferred to be struck with a gem rather than that blasted pan if she ever did find him again. Picking up the skillet, he set out and eventually found what remained of his friends, leaving the bits of village behind. There you go. That's the story. Meanwhile, Dipson is just doing a bunch of cardio. <laughs> Why the fuck isn't he leaving? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> tough act to follow <laughs> i was gonna wait to last but i got called yeah, and now to, wait, now wait. to follow that act sancho I got it. I, yeah, yeah, sancho I got it. <laughs> hey, don't even worry don't even worry all right sancho ran away all right, nice coming from the goblin bard he just says he ran away <laughs> what do you expect him to do like write a song about it as he's running away <laughs> actually that's hilarious because i was gonna suggest you know what your goblin should write a song and sing it for the stream after all of our stories are put together that'd be epic <laughs> i know right of course, we would have to listen to it then. <laughs> it's not that kind of bard, all right. All right. What What is your art form of choice, if not me? So... He's a beatboxer. Dope. <laughs> Make me uh, a dubstep oh, I, I, beatbox. I expect to hear that by the end of the night. Yeah. Don't worry. I got it all planned out. That's That's got to be how you cast your spells, beatboxing. Uh, I forgot what what was our village called again? Uh, Bob Bob Gob? Bob, Bob Gob Knob. Oh, that's Bob Gob Knob. Yep, Bob Gob Knob. That's right. <laughs> All right. Do you remember the uh, story? Yeah. Bob the Goblin found a knob in the swamp. Well, Boblin the he Goblin Bob, found a knob Boblin in the, the swamp and built a built a village there yes you should add on that he called it a noblin a noblin yeah <laughs> uh, no that's that's the the hill right next to this hill it's a noblin nice well then i guess with gabagoo um after seeing a entire hut turn into a mimic he decided you know what? This village, it's at its run. I'm good. Let's go ahead and get out of here. He looks over, sees that... Um, shit. I forgot your name. <laughs> they're, all, they're all there on the screen. <laughs> I can't... Oh, I had to zoom in. That's why. Dipso? 
You talking about Dipso? Uh, Booyah, no Booyah. Seeing Booyah go to his hut to save his wife, and then seeing the Dipso. Oh Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! Uh, and then seeing Dipso trying to uh, lure away the mimic house, Gabagool decides, and then seeing Sanjo just straight up dip. He decides to uh, wait outside the village, and he has a moment where he's like, "Should I go back for them? Let's let, let's let fate decide." And he decides to roll some dice to see if he should stay or go. Um, the dice end up rolling in the favor of staying, so he waits around for a bit. He ends up seeing a huge explosion happen. And he's like, well, I guess the Mimic's dead. So he waits around, meets up, it stays the night just to see. But then he sees um, Booya come out, they meet up. And then he know, uh Gabagool knows of where the nearest village is. And a, a possible new sel settlement in the forest. So he gathers up. Uyag and Sancho, and they head out that way. Now, Ben, go ahead and show the nursery and all the kids I just killed that no one went back to go save. <laughs> That's yeah. uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? So, God, I have the and, best kill-death ratio out of anyone in d &D. And then, the, of course, the two nursemaids... And they were all still alive at the end. <laughs> I'm a champion. But that, that, that powder hut was pretty close, so yeah. Uh, Sancho, I want you to make a survival check for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't get my rules out of the way. Nope. I can already feel this is going to be bad. <laughs> yeah. oh, all you have to do is say that beforehand. You're good. <laughs> all right, so you run into the swamp, uh, realizing that going too far in the direction that you're going isn't a good idea. So uh, you decide to wait nearby to see if anybody else makes it out. And, uh, and uh, after a while, you would see uh, Gabagool making his way out and uh, could easily then group up with them. Booyog, you, you just randomly run into the other group, the, the other the other two goblins that made it out. And yep. um, while you're sitting there re relating your stories, a nether figure walks into the clearing. Uh, on his way to pay Bob Gobnob glorious visit uh, a hobgoblin standing at a colossal five foot one approaches after seeing this explosion you there goblins what has happened here oh look at this tall mug over here who uh, are you yes allow me to introduce myself I am the glorious Tallest eminence, the great Mangva. You may kiss the ring. I'll hold out a very just iron ring. He is pretty Not tall. tall. I'll reach out and try to grab the ring off of his hand. <laughs> what is uh, Mangvar's uh, passive perception? Uh, bad. Uh, ten. Okay. Um. So I don't have to worry about you. <laughs> so uh, I am going to smack Booyog with an open hand because I'm nice. We're trying to steal that ring. It's a 21 hit. Well, uh, yeah, a little bit. Take four bludgeoning damage. <laughs> I cast hold person. What's the save on it? It actually uh, put his entire name on there. 
Yep. Uh, what, what was the save? Uh, 14 wisdom. Wisdom, okay. As long as it's not intelligence. <laughs> Um, no, nah, I wouldn't consider any of your allies yet, would I? No, you just came up and attacked it, my friend. I, I would say not. Try to <laughs> no, it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm held. What should we do? With All right, guys? then I'll go ahead and take the ring off of his finger. <laughs> okay. How am I? I'm completely paralyzed. You can smack him. You can smack him back if you want. Should we take everything? <laughs> All right, hey, 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 listen to you, uh, yeah, Monk. And uh, right at that moment, you hear a whistling sound from above. Hey, what's that? Uh, what I pull that? out my bow. You pull out your bow. Look up. You look up. Look up. And you see this arcing, uh, flaming something or other flying through the air. And really it is starting to arc down in your general vicinity. Run. It's roughly the size of a covered. house. Oh it's my god. It's the size of a house. <laughs> okay. Scatter and run. Yeah, we we book it. Scatter in the sky, whatever. I, I need you to make a concentration check. For your for your, for right, the spellcaster. Right oh. Okay, uh, I, I think I have uh, advantage. You can always just hold on. You can't always just uh, stop it if you want. Oh yeah, you can choose to let go of it. But I figured you're panicked at the moment, so I'm making you make a check. That's totally fine. Okay, I'd, I guess I don't have that yet. So, uh, just the uh, Constitution saving throw? Yeah. Ben? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that spell ends. You got lucky, David. <laughs> <laughs> As you look up and see Flaming Death headed your direction, all thoughts of that spell leave your mind. I was, I was so going to leave. <laughs> Booking it. Booking it in a shit. That'd be, that'd be so messed up. Like, he, <laughs> he, he, barely, he barely gets his introduction <laughs> off and he, then he dies. You know that I'd just do one more kill count for Dipso. <laughs> we, we, we steal his shit and he dies right after. Yeah. <laughs> 20 minutes in the three hours. You have gained one oh iron my God. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys do? Booking it already out of there. Yeah. Dodge roll. And, and I'm running. I'm running towards it, not like away from it. Okay. That makes sense. Like, like I'm trying to go under it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody else following you? Yeah. Let's just scatter. Let's yeah, get, just get yeah. out of the way. Yeah. Away from this, and then whatever direction it was coming from. All right. Start so you, looking that way. You s- All right, the well, it came yeah. from the village. <laughs> Oh, okay, from the village. What, whatever it was, yes, because this is just like a, a okay. right after the explosion. You guys pull up inside this thing, like quickly rat out what you you were doing. Uh, very quickly, uh, we're not sure how fast uh, Booyag was talking, but it must have been fast. <laughs> okay, and how then would it have been if the house landed on Mungvar and then Dipso walked out? <laughs> and this <laughs> just hear me out. Now he's got to be two characters at once. And then so he kills Mungbar and then comes back. Mungbar Mungbar Mungbar. Mungbar. <laughs> <laughs> but the powder was underneath the. Uh... Fuck! Honestly, it, it, it I was, wish I was came like... up with that and had Ben set that up beforehand. <laughs> It was, it, it was like Dip, Dipso was so drunk that his body went limp and he didn't take sober. as much damage. Dipso was sober. He didn't have a chance oh, to get that's right. it. <laughs> he did All it. the powder right. was in the basement, you know, so it was just like a rocket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so you you, uh, you you kind of scatter towards it, and uh, the flaming object smashes uh, into the clearing where you just vacated. And there's another. Uh, there's a small explosion of fire, wood, and who knows what else that flies out, 
And as it does so, uh, Mungvar, you hear this this flipping, whistling noise. I make a dexterity check. Uh, saving throw, sorry. Ooh. A, Dude, this character wants to no. die. Right. <laughs> an, ob- an object flying from the, the impact zone uh, careens towards you and smacks you in the back, dealing... Three points of bludgeoning damage. Cool, I reduce it by three. Okay. The armor master. And it knocks you down. But the explosion and the fiery whatever is over with. What did you do? I'm going to look at Sancho and yell, and Explain, while casting command. The object that smacked you is still laying on you. Oh, what is it? <laughs> It's a sign. Oh. Yeah. What's the sign say? It says dangers. You stays out and maybe or maybe it goes, but the rest of it's burned away. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> and I'm gonna cast command on Sancho. So that's gonna be a wisdom saving throw for you. Yeah, nope. So I yell explain. And you have to explain. I was just holding you. No, like, what did you do? Was I ran away? Ah, you coward. I'm about to run away again. You're angry. I understand my visage is intimidating and awe-inspiring. But believe me, if we work together, I can be your glorious leader. Yeah. That didn't work out too well for the last leader. Look, it's like... A it, 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 or a gob? What, Was he a what were you doing like trying to come to a bob knob gob, huh? I wanted to What's spread the word of Mungabar. Yeah, well, we yeah. carried it now. Yeah, and there ain't no... There ain't much left at Bob Gobnob. As uh, you can tell, it uh, kind of just blew up. Well, I have to spread my legend somehow. What? You guys want to go to steal it. some shit? Nah, you're talking my language. Well, look, we ain't got a place to stay, so we got to kind of go look for a new place. Stealing a house. Got it. You can, co- you can come along, but I ain't calling you leader. You're allowed to follow me. Yeah, go ahead and be our meat shield. I will always be up front. No. I, sorry, it's Actually, just uh, I, I ain't too trusting of you, you tall type. You know? Well, again, I got a thing about I humans. I ain't no human. I ain't no human. You take it back. I don't know. I mean, you're just as ugly as one. Kind of tall, too. I am tall. That's because I'm amazing. You're like twice my height. Yeah, twice, twice, twice the too. goblin you'll ever be. <laughs> but I did pass this village of them Humies on my way here. Sure, you passed him. You didn't come from them. Yeah. You guys never trust, never trust somebody who can see the top of your head. It, yeah, just just because your name is yeah. more important than Scrabble doesn't mean you're better than me. All right. Also, want to point out, what's the top of this guy's head? Look like the bottom of a frying pan. What's that say again? Why does the top of your head look like the bottom of a frying pan? I don't want to talk about. It. Still fresh. Look, guy, we just lost a village and all our peoples, all right? I'm saying we go take another village. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take people. us take us take us to your Humi village. Gonna have to give my ring back. Yeah, let's call it a uh, collateral, eh? Hey, you should swallow it. The shank You can give it back to him eventually. <laughs> How many casts of smite do I have left? 
All right, I'll start leading them back to the village that I found, sneaking through some bushes. Okay. So you head head through the swamp in the general direction of the the human village that you remember seeing earlier that day. As the as the uh, day progresses, uh, you arrive at the village at dusk. Looking out uh, through the trees uh, on the outskirts, you can see. Um, Where should I put you guys? I'll put you over here. There you go. And move you so you can see what you're doing. Quickly read through names to make sure you didn't put drifts in this village somewhere. <laughs> so looking around, you can see uh, there's a, a man standing here that looks well armed and armored, carrying a torch, a lit a torch, and uh, he's uh, just got to that position, and he seems to be. He he uh, snuffs out the the torch and lights a lamp instead. Off to the other side, you see a second man, also dressed in decent arms and armor. This guy uh, has got a crossbow. Same thing. Walks out with a torch, but snuffs it out and lights a, a lamp instead. They're bullseye lamps, so they only shine in the direction that they're pointed. You can see you can't see any of the people inside of the buildings or outside of your range of view, but I'm not going to, um, you know, make it to where it's got fog of war on this map. I don't yeah. feel like messing with it. But uh, yeah, those would be the two people you can see, and then if you want to see anything else, well, you're gonna have to look. Those two are obvious because of the lighting and stuff. You're hiding back amongst the tree, the trees and the bushes there next to that. Uh, Small pond. Not Sorry, did aware. you say that this was this like an open stable, or no. like an open, like that's why we can see him or no? No, you oh. you no, can't can you can't guy. see him. Oh, we, this guy. We can see him. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I guess okay. I can GM layer these guys so it looks more empty. All right, short stacks. First thing we need to do is find out which of these buildings. They keep their stuff. Then we gotta take the stuff. Yeah, All right, too well, bad of a plan. I am kind of hungry. Ahead. Go find it. We'll wait here. <laughs> there we go. How good are you guys at sneaking around? Gotta be quiet in these humi villages. Pungvar is not much of a sneak thief. He's more of a glorious shining beacon to goblin kind. Okay, so pretty useless. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Copy that. Head. How far are these guards? Um, one of them is further away than the other. So you can see that, yeah. It's all five foot squares, so. Okay. Like about 40 feet to the one there. And the crossbow man is a little further away. You just kind of kind of see his, the light from the lamp every once in a while as, it, as he turns it this general direction. But you can't see him really. I mean, he's pretty well hidden behind stuff. Um, go ahead and cast sleep on the guy to the right. Okay. Uh, did did uh, I, I did mention looking around? I, I don't know if anybody wanted to actually do that, but remember, 
that other than your passive perception, I just want to remind you to notice anything that your passive perception doesn't notice. You must say that you are looking around. As a reminder to the party, because you guys are really bad at it, just going to throw that out there. Understood. Okay, so sleep on the uh, guard? Yeah, from our hiding spot. Okay. 14. Oh. All right. You want to go ahead and post that spell for me? So the uh, individual kind of seems to grow a little lethargic for a second, but then shakes it off and then looks around kind of back and forth a few times to see if there's anything around. Um, If you're trying to hide, make a stealth check. Guessing everybody? Like I said... (laughs) Nice. He doesn't have dark vision. Just gonna say it. (laughs) Yeah, no, I've got disadvantage. So, good thing. (laughs) No kidding. Uh, So the guard looks around with his thing. Doesn't seem the least bit perturbed. Kind of yawns. And, uh paces over uh, this direction a little bit. Kind of peers off to the upper right. Wow. Which way? Good spell. <laughs> Which way are the uh, the lights pointing? Like, what's their their range? Are they, like, going right at us? Like a wide uh, The or... cone is... Let me see if I can actually make it here. And also, um, you had me fix me to my token to max healing. Does that mean we did we actually get a long rest? Um, like the same sh- night. Sure. Sure. Okay. Cool. Because I'm kind of spent on spells now. For the sake yeah. of, of the story, we're gonna say you did, anyways. Okay. I'll die immediately. Yeah, just cool. Sancho and I are the only ones that have cast spells today. Did that, did that work? Did that emit light? I don't think so. No, we don't see anything on ours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I just yeah, I didn't know if it would work with the with everything lit up, you know. Alright, so currently Alright. He is just looking up to the upper right of him, swinging the, pointing the lantern in that direction. He's looking directly away from you at the moment. This guy's back to you. Are there any levels on the back of this building or on the side of this building? Make a perception check. I do not know where our buildings are. Uh, you see some small fireflies that are flying over next to this tree uh, to the upper left of you just a little bit. And fascinated, you watch them bob and weave through the air, completely forgetting what you were looking for. Uh, what direction is this, uh, the other person on the left, the crossbowman, looking? Um, you don't have a direct line of sight on him, so you just see flashes of light every once in a while as he swings his lantern back and forth. You cannot see him clearly. And it's this house, um, the one right in front of us. Is it well lit? It's lit from, it's lit inside, yes. 
All of the okay. all of the houses are lit. Any windows facing us? Uh, yeah, there's a window, uh, uh, two windows on the back side of that house facing you. Uh, make a per- no. make a perception check. So you notice that the light from the windows are shining down on the pond, and down in the pond, you notice that there is a drainage pipe of some kind, large enough for goblins to walk upright in. And that is right here at this little inlet part south of the uh, south of that house. Can you guys see my pings or? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can okay. see. It. So it so it starts like in the pond and then heads underground, like north under the house, underground and yeah. And we're assuming just like north, okay. Yeah, you don't know where it ends up, but it goes north. The hell is that? What do you see? Tube in the ground. Oh yeah. Where would it go? I wonder if we can use that to kind of, you know, sneak around. It's going to be hard to avoid all these humies. Sneaking's good. Sneaking, stabbing. You sure your uh, fat ass can fit in there? Shush. Well, you said it was tall enough for them to walk up, right? So I could crawl through it, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the entrance to it is big enough for you to crawl through. Just had to go make yourself big. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're gonna make a bunch of noise in there? Probably. Ah. Right. All right. All right, let's try to sneak over there. All right. I'm gonna All right. Try if to you're gonna to leave cover, I'm gonna ask you to make another stealth check. I would love to after that last one. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing it's a group check. <laughs> All right, let's see. None of us did that great. I'm gonna keep my rolls hidden from you guys from now on. I think. Well, if he just rolls like he did last time, we're good. So yeah. Okay, so you start sneaking along carefully, trying to dodge any dry twigs or whatnot. Stay out of the of the light. The light from the windows shines roughly in this area here, and right over here. So, um, yeah, I don't really have anything to mark that, but I'll just keep an eye out for people in the windows or for the guard to be looking over. I uh, like. Hop on in. Maybe I have an orb. Alright, well, we'll be marching order for the pipe. I don't trust you to. to not it is my you. assessment <laughs> that Kabagul should go first. Oh. I'm only doing this because I want to go first. Not because you told me. Whatever helps you sleep. Actually, you know, what would be better than that would be... Anyways, I'm wasting time. So, you guys gonna sneak down to the pipe? Yep. Okay. And that's the Go marching order you're going in? Boom. Well, I wanna pipe. look inside first. Okay, you look, in, you look inside, so Gabagool's going first? Yeah. So, Gabagool, you look inside the, the pipe, it you know, it smells like a like it's a sewer pipe, possibly, but you're not really sure. It 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 smells uh, like water and uh, slightly of rot. Hey, this ain't so bad. And it it's like home. looking inside, you notice that it does seem to get bigger on the inside after the entrance. It's the TARDIS of pot pipes. <laughs> All right, start heading in. And uh, this guy then turns and, and walks down this way a little bit, swinging his light now to the south, looking down that way. 
as you're, you know, looking in the pipe and stuff like that. He kind of turns a little bit, like he's... Get in, get in, get in. Go, go, go. over here. All right, so... Try to get out of the way. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how... No, hold on. I'm really going to go in it. Yeah, I'm going to move. Okay. I've got another map. That's how I'm going to get you in it. Yeah, gotcha. Stand on top and then press it down. I'm just going to copy you so I can <laughs> paste you to another map. B A B A, start select. <laughs> up down, up down. Did it? Did it work? There we go. All right. All right. Yep, just a second. I had to GM layer some stuff. There we go. Hey, sewer pipe. What you see is a straight, long pipe. Uh, goes to the north a ways, and then you, know, you see some metal glinting just slightly in the reflected light off the water. The sides of it are uh, walkable, flat areas where the water goes down the center and like I said there's kind of a rank smell down here um, sure not any worse than our swamp that we're used to you is you, whoever has a 12 or higher passive perception can hear some squeaking like rats okay. I'll uh before I start moving up, I'll start looking to see for any traps. Okay, go ahead and make your investigation check. There's, there's no light in here, right? What? We have dark vision. There's no light. Yeah, there's no there. Well, no, right, so. a very minor amount of of reflected light off the water, but it's not enough to really see anything now. With that, dark without vision. dark vision, I mean. Right. Well, we we all have mm -hmm. dark vision. I know. I'm just saying. I think he's more yeah. concerned with other things being able to see in here. Gotcha. Well, it's it's more of a disadvantage whether or not we can see well enough. No, it's completely dark in here. So you all are essentially in dim light, which gives you disadvantage. But if oh. everything has disadvantage, I generally don't even bother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just like, eh, I don't care. Like, I just nix it because it's uh, more cumbersome than it's worth. So, what do we see down here? So, looking around, you can see you see the kind of see uh, uh, some small furry forms up to the north of you. A couple of them moving around. All right, getting my shield and uh, morning star out. Did I see anything with a seventeen? Just any traps? You look around for traps. You don't see anything that looks like a trap in the area. All right. Uh, everything. I think we're all clear. Everything's all right, grimy and nasty, great. though. Just make sure quietly, Mike. As you... I don't want to be sneaky. As you approach, you notice there is a, a rat standing here staring at you with its red Enjoy. beady eyes. Enjoy. If it gets close to me, I want to kick it. It sits up on Enjoy. its hind legs and looks at you, and uh, you notice... Well, no. Uh... No, your perception's not high enough. Sorry. Before it makes any noise, kill it. Take it out. Fine. Do it. I'll pull out my... Yik... Yikulwa. I'll move up and... Stab at it. Alright. Step, step. Uh, 
say here if you're attacking it in melee then you do have disadvantage to hit So you, you attempt to, to bash at the creature, you take a swipe and uh, misjudge a little bit, overextend yourself, and your weapon hits the ground near where it was, where the creature is, with a clack. And uh, the creature kind of jumps towards your your weapon and lands on the shaft of it because this is what is this this is a staff right what is that exactly and i'm not familiar it's like a that. it's like a little spear yeah it's like a yeah a little three foot pole with a dagger at the end yeah so your your weapon clacks into the into the uh the tile uh bottom of this area here and the creature jumps on the shaft as you miss and uh, climbs up it, uh, or starts climbing up it towards you. I drop it. You get it. your first good look at the creature. And realize it's not quite normal. That's a delicacy. I drop my weapon and then okay. back up. Okay. And then I'll pull up my bow real quick and shoot at it. Um, I think we're going to have you roll initiative now. Nice. Two tails. <laughs> and then I'll just roll initiative for... And we can see both of these rats? Yep. You can see two of them. One of them is further back. Just give me a second here. All right. So as as this happens, the creature jumps up on your weapon, and you drop the weapon kind of with a clatter. Uh, Sancho, you're the first one that gets to react to the situation as he jumps back five feet. All right. Um, I'm going to cast a Mage Hand, and I'm going to cast it at the nape of its neck and have it like basically pinch its neck and then lift it into the air. You're going to try to grapple it? can't get away. I mean, yeah. you're going to try to grapple it. That's what you're going to try to do. With the strength of a mage hand. I don't. I have no idea what that would be. I think it's like five? Five pounds? Yeah. It I think it's ten. Ten, hold, ten, or ten pounds. pounds. Ten pounds. Well, I don't know, yeah, well, I don't know what it's... Ten pounds and it's strength two. Yeah. Isn't it just your strength? No. Nah. It has a strength oh, of two. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is going to go real well. Mage Hand isn't great at uh, making quick, grabby motions. So, yeah, I'm going to say, yeah. I'm going to rule that you're going to need to, if you're going to try to do that in a combat situation, you're going to have to roll with the strength of the Mage Hand on a grapple check. Up to yeah, you whether so or not you want to be... continue doing that. So what would the penalty be on that? Negative. Is that negative four? Yeah, it is. So, 11 total. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you, you snap at it, and you actually come really close. But, uh, unfortunately, the mage hand misses uh, its grab, and the rat uh, lets go of the weapon that it was hanging on to, and skitters off to the side just a little bit, dodging your hand as it makes a, you know, a grab at it. Okay. And I'll end my turn. Okay. Mungvar. God, you're a real powerful mage. 
I'm gonna move over here. And I'm gonna smash it with a morning star. So you splash through the water. Yep. Okay. Do I get a cool extra tail? Two tails. Why? Why would you think you get extra tails for going through the water? The rats. <laughs> oh, I see. All right. So, sixteen to hit. Uh, sixteen will hit. Ten damage. All right. So you smash your weapon into the creature, and as you do so, it crushes it. You know, it just crushes it. You hear the bone or something crunching. And then uh, you raise your weapon after that, uh, doing whatever it is that you choose to do in the process. Uh, and But it, it instantly notice that the, the, the rat that you crushed is clinging to the weapon. Sticky rat, sticky rat. Is it smushed or is it still whole? It no longer looks like a rat. It seems to be almost a uh, a, a purplish red jelly attached to your weapon now, and it's still moving. Goo rat. All right. Um, well, that's after I made an attack, so I'm gonna smite it. Okay. Another eleven radiant damage, and the and I'm gonna use a channel divinity, <laughs> and everyone gains seven hit points for being so inspired, or seven temporary hit points by being so inspired. So as by you my strike, as you raise the weapon up and notice the creature, you channel divine power into your weapon, and and it stri strikes into the creature, causing it to burn and then explode as pieces of this jellied rat fly everywhere and um wait what did i do there we go okay I deleted it from no that's what i meant to do I, th I thought i'd get rid of something else um anyways you you uh the brilliant glow flashes up and down the uh the tunnel briefly lighting the room and you can see uh now you can see several more of these rats in the vicinity give me just a second um you guys do should probably add your seven temporary hit points just as an overshield who all of you what you were inspired by my glorious strike <laughs> we're gonna so need it. Just... oh amazing just set off a flare in this tunnel. <laughs> oh, what's with this light? This is this a different night than when I got smacked by for four, for four points? Or is this the same night? I told you you could have your hit points back. Oh, okay. Uh, we were so mostly we're doing this that that all of that was just for flavor anyway. So this is the okay. I don't know. We're just moving on. You 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 took a rest before you got here. Good. Moving on. That's how you cast a spell. So you see uh, a couple more of these strange-looking rats, and then beyond them, you see a couple of much larger ones. Nice. Anything else you want to do, Mungvar? No, that's it for me. Okay. Next is uh, Booyog. 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 He's, he's going to do what he's best at. He's going to cast some spells. Get your charts ready. All right. Ray of Frost. Send it over to the closest rat on the other side in front of Sancho. At a nine. Oof. I'm guessing that misses. A nine does miss, yes. But let's see what else happens here. <laughs> Get your anvils out. Get your anvils out. 
this is like, oh, that would be so awesome right now. <laughs> as long as it's not on you, yeah. As, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Better not be on me. <laughs> Let me uh, pull up the other one, but you can go ahead and make your first roll. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, I need to do, uh, what was it? A D100. A D100. Oh, it is a 100. Okay. Eighty four. Eighty four. Okay, cool. And again, twenty seven. Uh, you feel your pulse quicken with excitement as you cast your spell. It unfortunately flies wide and strikes the wall, but your your pulse remains quickened, and you feel like you your fingers and your 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 entire body is ready for action, and uh, you feel like all of your spells you could just cast just a little bit faster now. Any spell that you cast within the next minute uh, has a cast that has a casting time of one action instead has a casting time of one bonus action oh wow so does that mean i can wait how does that work then does that mean you can uh, cast twice or yeah. you... the, the well, casting rules for casting two spells in one round remains the same one okay. has to be a cantrip but i can do so i can cast a full spell and a cantrip you, yes. you, yes. you can cast a bonus action time spell. So in this case, also any all my spells, then. any spell yeah. that has an action as a casting time, and then you can cast a cantrip as an action. Wow. Okay. That is so, uh, the rule for casting two spells in one round, and it is the only yeah. way that you can do so. Okay. So this does, does this does not take effect for this round, though, correct? No, you yeah. you already used your action to cast a spell, so. Right. I made a bit of a mistake. So that's seven hit points distributed amongst you. So oh. you can choose how to divide that up. I'll, I'll take all seven. It's cool. Uh, Sancho gets none. We'll save four. <laughs> go to Yav, three go to Booyog. All right. All right. Uh, are you done, Booyog? Uh, yeah, I'm done. Okay, Gabigol, go. Oh, right. Um, so with my um, uh, ranger ability, at the first turn of each combat, I get a second attack, dealing an extra D8 of damage. Okay. For Dread Ambusher. And I'll go ahead and shoot two arrows at this guy front of me okay first one fucking hell it's my second crit fail <laughs> uh you go ahead and pull back your bowstring to shoot at this rat and the the string on your bow you you forgot again to protect it and unstring it on your way. Darn it. And uh, it snaps uh, again. Huh. <laughs> so. I guess I won't attack twice. Unfortunately, uh, poor Gabagool. Well, could I? Gabagool. Could I, if I'm still attacking? Like, what if I try to throw a hand axe? Would that count? Or do I have to do two attacks of the bow? I'll tell you what I'll let you do. I'll let you restring your bow. As the other yep. thing. Okay, yeah. Then that's my turn. Goddamn ones. Yeah, I'm a little more critical on the ones in this one. Sorry. I had this happened last fight, too. I had to spend all of combat just restringing my bow. Quit rolling ones. Yep. <laughs> all right. I'll, not, I'll never do that again. We hope not. All right. Sancho's Next. turn. Sancho. Wait, where'd the... Oh, it's supposed to be the rat's turn. 
It's because I. Oh yeah, that's what. It's that's what you deleted. I deleted. You uh, deleted their turn and initiative. Yep. Yep, I did. What was their initiative? Sixteen point fifteen should have got actually gone before you, but that's fine. I'll just do them at the bottom of the turn every round. Since it was my mess up. So this uh, two-tailed rat, uh, Mungvar, squeals uh, and r tries to run past you. Which uh, gives you an attack of opportunity. But it, it, it tries to get as close to the wall as it can, you know, right in the corner and run past you. Mungvar? Um, yeah, I'll take an attack of opportunity. 23. Uh, 23 will hit. And 12 damage as you run to pass. Alright, so you splatter, you splatter this rat again, and the rat just kind of, uh, th this time it just crushes the rat and pop, like, literally its head pops off and flies towards Gabagool as he's restringing his bow. I gotcha. Bounces off the, the bow shaft and falls in the water. Oh. You're lucky I'm here. All right, and this other one then is going to run towards Sancho. And that one is Sancho, I don't care. And uh <laughs> and uh this two-tailed rat Sancho comes running at you, scurrying as it gets closer, it jumps and tries to grab a hold of you with its teeth. Uh misses landing at your feet instead. Right, and then this one. That's gonna jump in the water and swim. Uh, Fifteen. <laughs> and it runs down next to its fellow. And then you see these hulking rats that kind of clamber uh, this one clambers down past you towards uh, Sancho and a second one crawls up the size of dogs you know good sized dogs uh, this one crawls up towards you Mungvar gets on its hind feet snarls and then snaps at you miss 17 misses yep AC's 18 Nice. I'm surprised. That's why I said that. Uh, Chainmail and a shield. Mm hmm. So, as it snaps at you, you raise your shield and push its head away from you, uh, menacing it with your weapon as it kind of cowers back and looks for an opening. All right. Now, Sancho, it's your turn. I think I'm just gonna have to try and cast sleep again. On which so one? I'm at second level. Well, it's gonna be all of them within. Oh well, you can pick your targets after you roll, I guess. Twenty feet. Well, it starts with the lowest health and then goes to the high towards the highest health. Gotcha. Whichever rat has the lowest health next to me. Well, that's gonna be the little ones. So, I'm going to cast it at second level for 78. Good roll. Did you mean to roll that? No, I didn't, but I'll just roll six more, and then we can add it. Okay, 30. So, th 30 total. All right, so the nearest rat and the second nearest rat both fall asleep. The third one uh, from you shakes its head, shakes it off, and seems unaffected. But the first two are asleep. Oh, 
bonus action. They just, since they were scurrying towards you, one of them was attacking you, so it kind of just falls asleep at your feet. The one behind it, like, scurrying up like it's going to attack you, and then just kind of folds over and falls asleep. Then as a Bardic Inspiration, or as a bonus action, I'll give Bardic Inspiration to uh, Gabagool. Okay. Gabagool? How's the, how's the uh, Inspiration go? <laughs> Fucking miss this time. You broke the last arrow, idiot. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Trying to shoot over here. Alright, and Sancho's done. So, Mugvar? Uh, my legend grows. I'm fighting the big rat. Oh, yeah. So. Just gonna hit it. Just whack it. Okay. 13. Uh, before you answer that. Sure. Uh, I'm going to use saving face. I'm gonna add 3 to that, so it's a 16. Because I don't want to embarrass myself in front of my new minions. So I rolled a 16 to hit. Okay. So you can add 1 for everyone with the minus side. That'll hit. Seven piercing damage. Seven piercing damage. So you swing your morning star into the side of the creature as it's uh, trying to menace you. It tries to duck out of the way. Doesn't succeed. Weapon contacts its side, smashing into it and with a wet crunching noise. The uh, As you try to pull the weapon back, you notice... The weapon's stuck. Alright. Um, would trying to free it be an action or a bonus action? Uh, it's going to be an action. Alright, so I'm just going to stand with my hand on it still. So. Okay. I'm not letting it go. Uh, that will be my turn. Alright. Booyog. Back to it. Uh, I'm gonna send a chaos bolt. So let's see at the uh, the rat, the large rat in front of Sancho. Okay. So roll. Ooh, crit. Yep. All right. So I gotta roll what it's going to do. So um, let's see. I'll display it so you can see what this does. Oh well. Okay. It says three. Okay, so it just says uh, fire. And I will roll damage. Wait, so that was three plus eight, 11. So doubled is 22 points of damage. All right. So you, you pull in. Or do I... Do I re -roll? I forget how we're doing the crits. Yeah, now. let's just double them. Let's just double okay. them. It's faster. Okay. All right. So yeah. Um. All right. So you pull pull your hands in and form this massive this this undulating moving uh, mass of chaotic energy forms in your hands and cast it towards the the giant rat who's not really paying attention to you. It's uh, look, looking at the rats asleep in front of it and looking at Sancho in the distance and kind of snarling. Doesn't even see the bolt coming. Smacks it right in the side of the head. And its head just explodes. There's, there's red and uh, all kinds of stuff just splatters the wall as the creature is obliterated. Nice. Eh. <laughs> Ungar, what have you done? Come on. And uh, I got a roll on the chart, so here's my first one, D100. And I'll roll my second one. Uh, 
you feel your your pulse quicken even more as the as the uh, the sudden uh, overflowing magical energy floods into your body from what you just did. Some of it siphons off into your veins, and uh, with a with a jittering uh, ness that, that is like being over caffeinated. Uh, you suddenly gain gain super speed for like a second, and you can make an additional action right now. That is awesome. Okay, all right. So additional. You can still action. do a can't. Can't you still do a cantrip too? I can still do a cantrip. Plus um, another action. Yeah, he can do a cantrip. Holy crap! So Jesus. I can do. I can only do a cantrip. You can do two more cantrips if you want. Oh, two cantrips. Because oh. you can't cast another spell. Yeah, okay. Well, so you can get another action so you can cast that. All right, so I can see that they didn't like fire, so I am going to come over here so I get a better shot at this uh, okay, the other Okay, jump into the water. Well, I'd like well, to I'm kind of I'm kind of like honest. kneeling over to restring my bow. Uh, Are you? Okay. Yeah. I mean... I so if I, if I step where he's kind of out of the way, could I do that? Depends on how you roll. You just need don't roll. Okay. <laughs> don't Let's see what don't happens. roll badly. I'm trusting you. If it's I'm just you. if you just need to see it, it you can see it, no problem. However, if you're trying to <laughs> shoot oh, something past him, it's oh, gonna depend on what you roll. I'm a shooting. <laughs> oh, another there crit. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay, so um, now I just yeah, Let's see what I do. Okay, so fourteen damage. So with your one second, you just flip your hand towards the rat, and the fireball instantly forms and flies from it straight towards the beast, crashing into its head. Uh, and you see. Uh, like an impl- in, in a uh, impact crater form in its in its head, and think surely this thing must be dead. But then, the uh, the body mass goes back together again, and you suddenly realize this isn't a rat. All right, here's uh, my roll for the wild magic surge. Forty five. I'm excited to see what this is. So, uh, just so you guys know, I, I, I'm pretty much aware that we're, we're, uh, we're not doing these wild surges correctly. I, I just want to point that out. Um, I'm okay with it for this campaign, but uh, just so you know, uh, Wired, that this isn't how it's normally done if you read the rules. You don't automatically get to roll on the chart every time you cast a spell. Gotcha. We're doing chaos goblins. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I'm completely I okay it. with it, but I just wanted to make sure you knew that if you did this in the regular in a regular campaign, I'd be sticking to the actual rules. Uh, okay. Let's I'm, see. I'm good with this, so this is fun. It is, and that's what all it's supposed to be. Fifty-eight. And this is where I die. Oh great! So, your firebolt strike strikes the creature and causes the effect that I mentioned before. However, afterwards the fire doesn't dissipate, and you see with popping and sputtering the the fire reforms, and you see a miniature fire elemental has formed over the top of the creature. It howls with glee and looks around. You have set loose a fire elemental on the prime material plane. Sweet. It is not under yep. your control. Oh, I'm sure it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's sitting right there on the rat and Mungvar. Well, right above the rat, yeah. It's kind of it's flying above the rat. Um. All right. Well, you know. I, I, I want to just 
kill this rat, so I'm just going to keep doing that. Uh, I'm going to shoot another... No, you can't shoot another one. You can only do two spells a turn, my friend. Oh, I thought with the hasted spell speed thing that you gave me... Oh, so I can't do oh. two in no. that case. Then. So no. you, you can still do another action. It That's just can't be a... Else. Okay. Well, no. Uh, so your first spell, your Chaos Bolt, that was an action spell, correct? But you said, a bonus but action. it was a bonus Cast. because of that other chaos. Oh, the other effect. Thing. I forgot about the other yeah. effect. Okay. Yeah. So, no, old. then you can, you, you can indeed cast another cantrip. My wow. mistake. Okay. I, I actually no, don't I'm... know, don't know, uh, that, anyways, just go. <laughs> okay. Just do it. I forgot I about the other do. effect. I'm good with, I am good with, okay, I'm going to, tr- I'm going to change tactics. I'm going to go with Ray of Frost again and see if I can hit the rat again. Okay. 22. All right. That hits. No crit, but uh well, I'll take it. What one? <laughs> but doesn't it do But before you do anything else, let's roll for oh. your surge. Yep. Does does so, it ray of frost do something though? It does. Uh gives him a disadvantage, hit. I think. If I remember uh, right. Uh, it's um, yeah. or speed is it? reduced by 10 that's what it is. until the end, uh, speed. the that's start of my next turn. That's yeah. all it is. It's the other one. It's the frostbite that does disadvantage. Why do you not yeah. get negative things? I think What's you that? should get negative yeah. things once in a while. <laughs> what are you yeah, you're rigging this roll. Exactly. I got a how are, how are you on my high? head that nearly killed me. It's not good <laughs> enough. And we set a fire elemental that's going to try and kill us. As as you and cast this guys. latest Good spell, guys. as you cast this latest latest spell, you feel wild magic once again torrenting through your veins. So much has happened in such a quick time. You you have a hard time even noting this additional effect. However, part of that magic pools within you, and you feel part of your reservoir of magic replenish as you regain one of your lowest level expended spell slots. Jesus. Whatever the lowest expended level is. I, I only cast one. It was a Chaos Bolt at level at first level, so I just get it back. Yeah, there you go. So I'm back at the full <laughs> slots. <laughs> okay, are you done? Or are we just playing with oh, you tonight? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Jeez. Hey, these are your tables, man. Uh, these are your tables. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so many regrets. Quit rolling. Oh, well. <laughs> Gabagool. You're... All right, you done You uh, done over there? Can I go? Uh, you, God you, damn. Yeah, you, 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 you're you good. No, he's, right. he's talking like the squirrel on... <laughs> on what you call it when it drinks caffeine, okay? <laughs> you don't... <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. It's so quick, like, huh? What'd you say? All right, this time I'm going to shoot my bow, and I'm not going to roll a one. That would be good. I miss my portents right now. <laughs> Ten? Yeah. Ten heads. At the, at the, okay, cool. You're the big one, right? Yeah, yeah. Ten hits. Seven piercing damage. All right. Uh, your arrow sinks into the creature. With almost like a wet plunk noise, uh, dealing dealing uh, some damage to it, you see, but it's you know it's it doesn't bleed. That's gross. Yeah, you get another shot, don't you? Um, is it um larger than me? No. It's me. Okay. It's medium sized. Um, no, I don't. I only get that extra shot for the first round. Ah, you're not up to two shots. Yeah, not yet. That, that's next level. Okay. Could right, remember. And that's that. That'll be that because I got no bonus action. It's because I never get to play characters, so I rely on you guys to know everything. <laughs> yeah. If only somebody else would DM. Hmm. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> forever One dm day. forever dm well at least i come up with fun stories 
All right, so if I can come up with a fun campaign, I'll try to DM one. <laughs> That'd be cool. You can use all of if my I can tools. Come up with some good revenge. I'll DM one. <laughs> <laughs> so all right. that, that's my turn. All right, so at the end of your turn, they get to go. This creature now decides to lose all all semblance of being a rat, and you see teeth of this bigger mouth forms in it, and one of its limbs stretches into a pseudopod as it strikes at you, Mungvar. All right, bring it, bring it. Twenty-two will hit. Is it? Is that magic damage? No. I take one point of damage. It is bludgeoning damage. And that pseudopod is now also stuck to you. Ben, what's up with you and sticky enemies right now? I'm just continuing the theme. We continued the theme. Here's the theme. There's sticky stuff. <laughs> Mimics were the thing, so guess what? Some of them made it over here. I don't know what to tell you. He's like, I didn't think you'd keep it up. <laughs> All right. Now we so. know what to look for in the main campaign. Four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and with these new nasty rules. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. That's, um, that's all it can do, I think. Yeah. So, it is because it can't can't bite you yet. All right, uh, the other two rats do they get a saving throw every round or are they just asleep? I can't remember. They're asleep for the next minute. Yeah, I thought I thought so. So I just don't even worry about them. Uh, okay, going on to Sancho. You gonna go rat stomping? Let's think, as soon as I do any damage, they wake up. So. What are you going to do? Yo, Gabba Gabba, get over here. Once you hit him, I'll uh, smash him with my axe. So, I'll hold my action to attack him with the axe once I get hit by somebody else. All right. I guess oh. this guy, because I can't hit the other one, really. All right. Combo move. Mung Mungvar. All right. So, the mace is still stuck in this thing. Yep. So, I'm just going to let go for free. Yep. Bonus action, draw a javelin, and I'm going to stab it with a javelin. All right. Hey, quick question. That fire elemental... When does it move? Oh, I forgot about it. He should do more. Uh -huh. so, yeah, he just had to bring oh, it Sorry, guys. Oh, sorry. Geez. Quick question. Let's bring like, the chaos. It's Where like the guy who uh, reminds the teacher that uh, there's homework. I will go at the on your at, at the beginning of your turn since you're the one that summoned it. Okay. Uh, where is it and how big is it? It's currently flying above the rat's head, and it's about the size of. Um, of a melon. Like Oh, it's not a very big fire element. No. Damn it. Why couldn't before you have it was big summoned, you know, before it was summoned it was having a nice dinner with its family. You know, its uh son had just graduated from the you know, middle school. From element pre e elemental school. Elemental school, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty pissed at Booyog right now. I think you should be focused on him. Maybe uh, you don't know anything. Nice family dinner. It just popped up in front of you. He's looking at you to blame. A more stable size, <laughs> well, I'm thinking, bar. like a bowling ball might be a, a better way to describe it, since they tend to be the same size. Oh, I don't know how it views the goo monster that it appeared over. <laughs> but, anyways, I'm going to try to stab this thing with a javelin. If it was a strong elemental, I was going to try to convince it to go burn down the village. All down the oh my god. <laughs> but... You, you fucking arson, you. There are some ironies just to that. just love burning shit down. I, all right, I burned down one thing, and it was because someone else threw down fucking... Two, two things now. Things. So that those are... Now, now you uh, blew up a whole village. That didn't exactly count as burning down. It's blowing up. That's a the different... The irony thing. is that I made this, for those of you watching the stream. All 
Oh. <laughs> that was it. Okay. <laughs> this Dude, I made this is, in oh, yeah. preparation, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll go. use it, but I totally made it. <laughs> <laughs> Had it ready. Damage from the javelin. They're like, yep, Ezra's playing tonight, so better get some fire <laughs> ready. I burned out one thing. It was Alabaster. <laughs> it was all Alabaster. Hey, fire was involved with the explosion. All right, you sink the weapon into the creature and uh, strike something vital because it kind of howls and hisses a little bit and then slops down into just a... And ooze on the tiles. That's three for Mongavar. And I'll be the end of my turn. And I'm, That's I'm, sort I'm, of like I helped you. With Booyah and the assist. Sancho still does nothing. He sucks. And I saw you fall. Down. That was an yeah. accident. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. That's not bowling ball. There we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. It I was thinking the bar. Final Fantasy. Games. Actually, more like there. Oh yeah, like the bomb. Hey, look! I just, I just found a token. You can deal with what <laughs> no, it looks it's, like. It's good. It's cool. Let's I like see. It. What do I got? I've got, I got this, and I've got this. You know what? That one looks more fun. Is that better? Nice. Instead of flaming nice. school. Ten looking ass. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. You done, Mungvar? Yep. So flame elemental now. Yep, flame elemental. The flame. Hey, put out that, put out that light. What are you doing? Yeah. There's a fire over <laughs> there here. There is flickering light. <laughs> hey, <on. laughs> a little fire. Come on. The creature. What is it? The Fourth of July. The creature looks around, still cackling kind of madly, and uh, see, sees you, Mungvar, and um, uh, deci decides to become my best friend. De cool. Decides that it would rather that you were on fire, so it uh, flies towards you and attempts to touch you with its flaming hand. And fortunately misses. Although it would have been half of that damage because it's much smaller. Oh, I can't reduce that. But it missed. I like fire. So now, Booyog, your turn. Okay. Chaos. Always chaos. His favorite thing. All right. Get down! I tell Booyog. Or, uh, who are you? What the... <laughs> Gabagool, Gabagool. Gulag. Where are you? <laughs> I forgot my own name. Uh, 13. Uh, 13 will hit. Okay. Now I gotta roll what it does. Someone's a slightly bigger <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and, and then they merge into one. Uh, six, which means. Uh, oh, crud. I didn't cast it the way I wanted it to. Like, Please stop. It is. Uh, <laughs> it's poison. <laughs> All right. So it does poison. Is this uh, big divinity where it blows up? Sixteen max. Wow. It did max damage. At least it's not like a stream of gasoline or oil, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Gabagool and Mungbar on fire. So poison damage. <laughs> poison damage. All right. So your bolt. You form it once again and uh, very satisfyingly see it splash into the creature. There's a brief flare of fire as the fire of the creature just eradicates the poisonous bolt. Yep. And it turns towards you and grins evilly. It had right. no effect. Yeah, and here's the... <laughs> oh, what are you looking at me for? Okay. So 14... And give me something good. 86. Let me see. I knew I should have. This is gonna be good. Just retreat with this level up. And don't forget, I get, I get another, I get, I get a, because yeah, that was a bonus action cast spell, so now I get to do a cantrip. Okay. 
So, so we'll as as your uh, poison bolt uh, hits the target and uh, just kind of evaporates, you see that the evaporation then forms into a black rain cloud over the top of the fire elemental and it begins to rain. <laughs> Oh, the creature geez. looks up at the rain cloud and shrieks. <laughs> and I smile back. <laughs> I, that is freaking hilarious. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> All right. Moving yeah, on. Ray of Frost, the sucker. Oh, that's too funny. You rolled it. Uh, 19. Be more funny. The only way it can be more funny is if it formed over your head and followed you around forever. I know. I know, right? So it's only one point of damage, and I'll roll. If if it even does anything. 82. One point of cold damage. 47. <clears throat> All right, so you hit it. The, the, ray, the ray hits it, and it seems to, to do do more damage than you would think because it the rain that's following it freezes it <laughs> just briefly uh and the creature shrieks once again 82 47 well fuck uh, i i am okay are you regretting your? You made the list. Oh now? my god! Okay, um, give me a second. How many fireballs does the dog cast on himself? Oh, <laughs> oh god, I'm right by you too. I can so I can now whale. see why DMs hate wild magic. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think anyone has it's, to. Do it's it not supposed to serve me as often. <laughs> it only <laughs> supposed to like serve me rolling at twenty or at one. Okay. Oh, it's oh, very weird that things never happen. What, what is happening? You do realize I, I rolled two nat 20s already, so I'd have had two surges oh. in okay, just this really... battle alone. Is, is that a unicorn? Did you just summon a unicorn? <laughs> Stop adding more mobs! <laughs> so, there's a splash, we we and actually, <laughs> it's that big. Um, oh my god. There's a splash in the water next to you and a knicker, and you look over and see a unicorn looking wildly around itself, confused. At the beginning dude, of the didn't I say dude. we should do this quiet like? We're gonna wake up the guards. They're gonna alert the guards. What the shit? Oh okay. <laughs> never make it in the village. You're just gonna die in the sewer, and you're not even gonna die from the rats. You're gonna die from all the shit he's summoning. <laughs> There's a unicorn over here. <laughs> what is this? A, a horse with a horn? What is this? Unicorns are all good. Oh my I'm going to play a wild magic mage forever. That is Well, <laughs> you need to no. make sure you read the actual you're, rules. Cause, you're one and yeah. only time. <laughs> We're doing this this time, but my God, I don't know if I'll ever do it again. <laughs> Unless we want, like, four, like, all of you guys play wild magic and just <laughs> let the chaos ensue. <laughs> all right, so. One round Holy of combat God. would be the whole session. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. But it would probably be the end of, like, an entire region of the, of yeah. the you know, countryside. We're, just, we're meant to blow up a village. That's the goal. Oh, all okay. right. Uh, that's it. I... <laughs> So that creature will also get to go at the beginning of your turn. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Gabagool, you're up, I guess. <laughs> All right, so it's like a little canal right here, right? Yeah. So like I can see over over him. It, it's a good uh, two feet deep. Okay. Yeah, you can't just, see just, just to be safe, I'm going to take not... five feet away from Booyah. You can't see over the unicorn, Why? if that's what you're asking. but that, that That's what I was asking. Yeah. I want to try to shoot, shoot that guy. No, you're not seeing over that unicorn. Sorry, its body Jeez. would be directly in your line of vision. 
All right, I want to try to cross then. Okay. <laughs> Should I roll oh, to see yeah. if he gets kicked, guys? <laughs> okay, then I'll go this way. Nope. I was there. just kidding. I was just kidding. You didn't leave it so... Oh. You didn't leave or Stooky. You don't want to leave its its aggro range. So you actually want to move to where you were going to move. Yeah, yeah. I was kidding. I was kidding. You, you don't want to leave its aggro range. Okay. Then I'll try to shoot the first rat. Cool. Okay. Go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. He's shooting it right at Sancho. That <laughs> one, that one. I'm holding my, my axe up with two hands above my head. <laughs> Sancho, Sancho, just stay very still, okay? Don't move. Wait, wait, they're sleeping and prone. Do we get advantage? Uh, You get advantage. He has disadvantage because they're sleeping and prone. Okay. I thought I I thought I had advantage. No, no, you're but using a melee, you're using a ranged weapon on a prone target. That's disadvantage. Oh, well, I mean they're what, they're naturally which, prone. Which aren't one they? is it? <laughs> I mean, yeah. you, <laughs> it's like what would the difference be? <laughs> I'll I'll let you keep the I'll let you keep it average because I mean with a rat he's he's not wrong. Ho- however, uh, technically that's the rule. It's fine. <laughs> so you have advantage <laughs> though with your battle axe in melee. All right. I, I still only get a ten. Uh, that's good enough to hit him when they're asleep. Ah, oh, sweet. Because they don't have any dex bonus. So then, do I need to roll disadvantage then? What? Or do I do I have to roll again? No, you don't. You can roll okay. damage. Uh, yeah, I get seven damage. Seven Six damage. All and right. For some reason, it just rolled on the D and D Beyond. Ah, oh, that's fine. All right. So you guys, uh, your arrow uh, skewers through the one rat, and it slides towards the other one just as Sancho brings his axe down, cleaving both of them in half. Nice. Trick shot. That's fucking teamwork. He he does, however, <laughs> also chop your arrow in half. So, oh come on! Hey, I'm I'm a, I'm a chopping wood over here. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I didn't like that arrow anyway. Hey, if you think about it. You got you got four arrows now. You're welcome. All right, Sancho, it's officially Look your turn. This. Look at this fucking horse dookie over here. Unless you want to shoot something else, Gabagool. Or, no, you can't. Never mind. Oh, I, can't, I can't. No, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. I am so used to uh, Rangers getting two shots. Yeah, well, that's next level. Yep. If we if we survive. Sancho, you're up. What are you going to do? Can't wait to, I can't wait to write a song about this. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody will be thinking, what was he on? Five feet. And then jumping onto the unicorn's back. Blah. Ten feet, I guess? Another five feet? Ten feet? You're trying to jump acro- off, off of its back? Onto its back. Alrighty. First of all, make an acrobatics check. Good enough. Now you're going to have to grapple that puppy because it ain't wearing a saddle or anything. Well, that's, that's, that's fine. I was, just, like, so was going to jump on it backwards. It is most definitely not willing to let you stay on it. <laughs> okay. So, facing its ass, I will ah. try to stay mounted, I guess? Uh, that's going to be <laughs> He grabs hold of its tail right at the base. <laughs> Go ahead and make a contest. We're going to make contested strength. Or, uh, you know. Yeah, you you don't stay there. Uh, it bucks you off and you land in the water five feet back. Alright. But well, it's a soft landing. 
Well, as I'm falling, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at the flame creature. I'm going to make it look like I tried to do it on purpose. I'm going to give you disadvantage on that. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Eldritch Blast. Not bad. 15 will hit. Nice. See, on purpose. Totally on purpose, guys. Oh, nice shot. 10 out of 10. And then I think I get bonus damage because of uh, something else I have. Hold on. Uh, I guess not yet. And then you would land. Uh, move that. You would land there. Done? Uh, choo -choo -choo, landing in the water. And then bonus action. Uh, and then reminder you still have this two Gabagool. Um,. Bardic Inspiration, oh, yeah. but this time on Mung Mungbar. You get inspiration? So. And how do you inspire him? Hit me with that beatbox. Uh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Watch, well, he has it pre-recorded. Oh. This is actually going to need some time, so you guys can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slow inspire inspiration. It's it's a slow. Man, I told me this would never come up, so I didn't have it ready. Okay, he's like, "That's never going to happen, Johnny. You're never going to have to use that." <laughs> Obviously, so a few that. things have happened that I didn't think were going to happen. So at this point, I would just be ready for anything. Don't worry. All right, so your your blast hits the creature, and its flames just scatter into embers that wink out. And then uh, I'll end my turn, and I'll I'll start by trying to make some music and stuff to amp up the rest of the team. Okay, Mungvar, your turn. Alright, Mungar is not going to run behind the horse because that's how you die. What you going to do with a unicorn? <laughs> yep, so he's going to pick up his mace, run down here, or his morning star. And I guess he's going to try to kill a unicorn. Oh, my God. oh my God. Okay. Just keep in mind, I didn't make you do this. <laughs> well, but the unicorn's not openly hostile to us yet, right? He said it just looked confused. Yeah. All right. In that case, I'm going to go it's down It's up to here. you, Hobgoblin. I'd rather not fucking fight a unicorn. <laughs> I'm just going to point to the exit. The little <laughs> door. Just points to Imagine the Imagine the guards, if they saw this thing come out. <laughs> well, they've also already heard crazy shit from in here. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't if expect... They saw a unicorn. If they saw a unicorn running in and out of a drainage pipe, they'd probably be like, man, I gotta stop drinking. <laughs> to be fair, the unicorn probably isn't gonna fit out the entrance. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I have an intelligence of seven. I'm pointing at the hole. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you had to crawl in, you know? It's a horse. <laughs> Unicorns are strong, they can bust out. Alright. <laughs> And it now knows where the exit is. Yep. Unicorn now has all the information it needs. <laughs> all right. Uh, and you're done? Yep. <laughs> all right. At the beginning of your turn, the unicorn gets to go. The unicorn... Uh, what's, what's that thing? There it is. The unicorn flips around uh, towards the thing that tried to jump on its back, looks down at it, and, uh, kind of makes, uh, if you can believe it, a retching noise coming from the, from the horse and then attempts to gore it with its horn. Actually, no. Oh. No, it wouldn't do that. It's going to use its hooves. I think that's worse, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Guess we're killing a unicorn. Let me see here. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot, Wired. It has now, disadvantage because it cannot see in the dark. I almost thought you were the useful one. Now it cannot see you in the dark, so that's disadvantage. Oh, that didn't help. <laughs> so, eleven points of bludgeoning damage to Sancho. As the the thing kind of screams and then it goes stomp and he stomp stomp, like it, like he's a snake, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like the elephant with a mouse. And it turns and looks at Gabagool and Mung uh, Mungvar is pointing and goes. And you hear this this echoing uh, voice in your heads that says, "What is going on here?" You got someone by accident. Oh, who's talking? Goblins. Ugh. How goblin? How, how goblin? Whatever. Look, just that's the exit. I don't know if the summon wears off. Ah, can't believe I'm gonna have to use this. S looks at uh, looks at Booyog and says, "It was you." I know it was you. <laughs> if you summon you're me again, you know. you're gonna get to know what a shish kebab feels like. And then it twirls its mane and uh, sparkles cover its body and it slowly fades away. See, that wasn't so bad. It's fine. What the, what the hell was that? Unicorns can cast teleport once a day. At will. Only in D and D. Not to mention their innate spell casting, and their charge ability. The fact that all of their weapons count as magic weapons. They get two attacks every round, and they have three legendary actions. Be glad you didn't fight it. It would have murdered you all. So I'm gonna turn to Sancho. So what are Death you saying? Do here? What do I do here? This is the time to whip out your beatboxing. Show them all. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't even know what we're doing here. Like, I thought we came to eat food. We can't even eat these things. <laughs> the food's up above. To be fair, all there were were a few rats and a mimic in here. That's food. Rats, food. <laughs> Everything else is Booyog's fault. <laughs> yeah, like we were done fighting them a while ago. Let's go see if we can still salvage this loot and miss it mission. Let's go see what's up ahead. I don't even know what we're doing here. We're just following this guy because he's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to do a perception check. Let's see. Uh, do we hear anything after all this commotion from outside the pipes? <laughs> all right, go ahead and roll. Uh... I almost want to give you a disadvantage because they're over there whispering and arguing back and forth. I mean, you can. I got a 21, so if you want to... No, I'll let it stand. So over the top of them arguing back and forth, you hear uh, noises from outside the tunnel. Uh, Sounds like voices. Get out of here. Go, go. They're coming. Try to nudge them to get out of here. There's light. Right. There's light shining uh, slightly in the entrance like there's something coming towards the entrance to this, uh, to this tunnel. Like the way we came in, right? Yeah, the way you came in. Yeah. Let's, I want to investigate what this is. What you find a is a ladder going up, and uh, at the top of it seems to be uh, some kind of a of a uh, trap door and a mechanism, and hanging next to it is a is a uh, bucket on a on a chain. Uh, it's actually well, we'll say it's several buckets. It's designed like to dip down into the water as you pull the chain and then go back up to the top. 
what you're looking at is a crude crude uh, well that they've designed to get water from the basically the pond water uh, and get it to the somewhere up above. Ooh, All right. Goes up. Yeah, it's got kind of a trap door over the top of it, so. I mean, otherwise, if there wasn't a trap door over the top of it, all your light and noise would have been going out that direction as well. So up, down, or back where we came from? The I think let's. The noises from the other end of the, the tunnel are getting louder, and you see yeah. light uh, approaching oh, the tunnel entrance. Oh. All right, uh, before I head up, because I'll go first, I'm going to cast uh, Disguise Self. Okay. So does this mean I could change, like, my race? I could just be, like, a foot taller? Change what you look like up to the dimensions of the spell. Like everything, yeah. I think a foot taller or shorter, something like that. Mm -hmm. So I will try to transform into a dwarf. Okay. I'll have like little, like green strands of hair in my beard. My eyes will kind of still be similar to how my eyes are. Okay. All right, guys, I'll go up first. If any humies are around, I'll try to distract them. But you guys be right behind me and take them out if we need to, okay? Got it. All right. I'll start uh, climbing up the ladder. All right, just a second. I'm moving a couple things around on this other map. All right. Hey, monkey, why aren't you going up there first? It's important to make... Yeah, underlings feel like they can make decisions autonomously. Oh, I can still hear you. I guess. Yeah, I know. It's because I said it. What I should do is I should grab your tokens from the other map and put them here. And I need to clear that. Damn, how goblins. I know you hang on my every word. I'm thinking That's... it's better. You're talking to my friend all wrong. Talk to him like that again. I'm not what are you, you gonna face. do? Fail another spell at me? Solid or nine. I can make you fall asleep right now, dude. Just toss you in that water. I'll make me cast another who, who, spell. Who, who was it? It was Gabagool that was going up top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna move and your, then your other Hopefully, you guys are gonna be like. For now. Shut up, Hopefully phone. you guys are like right behind me so you can hear if uh, trouble happens. But just don't come in right away. You know, let me go in first. Yep. Okay. Let me move you over. So as you climb up and uh, you, you get to the latch uh, of this trap door like thing. Up at the top, you notice the the, the, the kind of round mortared stones around you. Uh, go ahead and make um, an investigation check for me. I honestly didn't think that 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 uh, sewer would take that long. It's crazy. Of course, you know, unicorns and fire elementals. Gabagool? 17. Okay, so... Uh, you look around at it and you realize that you're you're probably on the inside of an actual well, um, you know, like that rises up from the uh, the dirt in the center of the the village that you're in. And that this trap door over the top of it has a has a little notch where you can see just some starlight above you. But uh, without moving the lid, you're not going to be able to see anything out there other than a little patch straight up. All right, 
I'll start slowly just opening up the hatch or the door. Okay. Just, well, you try to be careful? Yeah. Roll stealth. Not just trying to bust bust open it. Do it yeah, yeah. Roll stealth. <coughs> okay. So you carefully 14. set it aside. Uh, you, you know, it just opens up I'll like any trap door. I'll peek out and get get a get a view of my surroundings. All right, go ahead and roll perception for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you poke your head up, look around real quick. You know, trying to be stealthy and quick, and you're like house, tree, bush, dirt. Okay, got it, and that's all you see. <laughs> all right, Let's go boys. Thinking that the coast is clear, I'll be like, "All right, I'll, I'll uh, look down and say to the rest of the crew, all right, give me just a, one minute, and I'll let you guys know.' And I'll go ahead and jump out of the well. All right. Like there, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I'm not waiting around. So you jump sure, out, and as you land, you look around, you can see uh, it looks like there's some commotion going on to the south of you, down where the entrance to the tunnel was. And you see that, uh, you know, the, the houses and stuff around you, the lights are still on in them. Uh, as you glance around, you see uh, a huddled figure against one of the uh, corners of this house to the north of you, right here. It currently has its head down uh, on its knees. It's not paying attention to its surroundings. Advantage. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, kind of walk this way to block the view of that person. And I'm like, "All right, guys, quick, quick, quick!" And I'll point in this direction, tell them to go like hide in a bush. Okay, guys, what are you going to do? Uh, as, as I kind of just... I'll yeah. come up and... I will... Uh, I'm going to take a quick look, if you don't mind. <laughs> Check around, too. All right. Let's see about perception here. Roll your perception. Eight. I see everything. Yes, everything. <laughs> You're certain of it. Yes. Unfortunately, right. Gabagool's blocking your view over that way, but that's fine. I'm sure he's got it. Perfectly fine. So I'll, I'll come out and I'll run over to the bushes. Uh, you stealthily or unstealthily? Uh, s stealthily. So uh, stealth. That. My gosh. So stealthily. Scamper, scamper. <laughs> okay, who's next? So I'll hide in the bushes wherever... I don't know. Yep. Wherever it seems best. I guess I'll pop up next. You hear a rustling in the bushes as, as Booyah runs into the bushes over there. <laughs> so you're next. There you go. Yep. Now I'm just going straight for the bushes. Stealthily or unstealthily? Uh, stealthily as best as I can. Let's see how that goes. An eight. Oh, yes. <laughs> clang, clang, clang. Yeah, jang jangle, jangle, jangle. Crash into the bushes. Example. Well, not quite crash, but rustle. It's not. I mean, it's 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 an eight. It's not a one. You know. So. And then Sancho. Sancho. I uh, clearly see them standing over there trying to hide. And right. So I'm going there's, to head for this bush. There's all kinds of light <laughs> glinting <laughs> off off of Mungvar's armor. <laughs> Why did you have to come here in my bush? And you got an 18 for stealth? Okay. Uh, so you tiptoe away. None of them even see you based on the perception rolls they've rolled anyways. Because Gabagool definitely didn't, and Booyah definitely didn't see you, and I'm pretty sure that uh, Mung Mungvar didn't either, unless he wants to roll Perception. Go ahead, let's no, see, no. if you can beat an 18. Nope! 
I'm fully dedicated <laughs> to as I possibly can. <laughs> Which isn't even that good. <laughs> All right, so admiring himself in the glint of a shield. <laughs> <laughs> Glory, got him, awesome. All so right. Has this person reacted at all? No, they still got their head down. Um, they they might be sleeping. You can't tell. Uh, Sancho, you see uh, what looks like a boy, a small human, is facing away from you to the south. Sleep. <laughs> is that person in front of me the uh, Carolina Reaper Pepper? Yeah. Or isn't that what it's called? Yes. Are they hot and spicy? You can't yeah. tell. Oh. I already told you that they had their head down and you, they're not looking at you at all. So you, 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 your perception roll was so good, you're not even sure for sure that they're female. So, I mean, obviously their name is, but your character does well, not know that. If they're human, then they're ugly. So Right. So I'll just kind of keep assuming that everyone went the direction that I told them to go. Nope. I'll just sneakily head this way. Okay. Without trying to uh, um, interrupt their sleep or whatever. Did you roll stealth already? I can't remember. Uh, I did before, but I could roll another one. Nah, you're good. If I'm... Okay. I saw it. Okay. And Sancho, you were casting sleep? Yeah, on Bronco. Right. All right, go ahead and roll your dice. 21. So that individual immediately goes to sleep. Perfect. Let's see. Well, why do I always think the eye is sleepy? Whatever. I will know what it is. And, uh, you, it, that, that, did you want to use any of your other hit dice for other creatures, or? Uh, roll 21. I, I mean, I guess if there's any leftover, I would try to, like, just hit Carolina just in case. Alright. Can't remember which one of these is sleep. Oh well. Blinded it is. I mean, they're kind of blinded while their eyes are closed. Right? And all I need is a marker so I remember that they're asleep. So. Alright, so. Anywho. You're pretty sure both of them are asleep now. Uh, the the northern figure there, the upper uh, person, sags a little more than it was before as well. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, I will... And the southern one slumps to the ground and, you know, kind of curls up on the ground. Sneak up and see if I can't look into this house at all. Whenever. Okay, uh, the one on the left? Yeah. Looking in the... You, you can... There's actually a door there. Um... And uh, no windows, so right there in that location. So you can either open the door or look for a window. I'll look for a window. So over here, then. On this side? No, well, there is over there as well, but there's one right here. Oh. Uh, I can't see your ping now. Really? I can't see it either. Straight left of you. Okay, yeah. Then I'll look there. Okay. So, uh, this window is open. Uh, actually open to the night air. 
and you're able to poke your head up, look inside. You kind of hear some humming coming from somewhere inside, but you don't see anybody. Like a musical humming. Higher pitched. All right. Just kind of scoping it out, I guess. And then I'll go check for this house too. All right. Oh, is there a is there a window on this side? There is. Well, no, okay. that no. Wait, sorry. Once again, that's a door. Doors over here. Oh, so the windows here, or there's a, there's two doors. There's a door on that side and a door on the front, uh, where that porch is. And then the window, the windows would be on the far side from you on the top. Well, and then on the right side and on the bottom uh, next to the porch. I'll go for a listen then. See if I can hear anyone. You hear the sound of wood on wood and some like a clack and clatter and then a, like a pause and then a clack and clatter and then a pause and then a clack and clatter. Sneak up into this bush with these guys. Hey! Ah! Where'd you come from? Where's Sancho? I don't know. What's that all right? And what's Sancho doing? Well. <laughs> um. <clears throat> well, I don't know. I had two trains of thoughts. Like, the first one was to slit these people's throats second one was to look inside this building. I'm trying to find like a storage building. Oh, it's a 50-50 shot. Do I slit throats or look through a window? Alright, if I roll, if I, if Those I roll are your one... only two choices you can do. <laughs> they, they are, oh, dude, come on, man. They're like little uh, kids. Uh, like, let me, let me slit these children's throat real quick. Alright, if it's, if it's evens, I slit throats. If it's odds, I look inside for a storage building. All right. The dice have spoken. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here we go. Oh. I'll go to Bronco first as he's sleeping yeah. peacefully with his long, brown, curly hair just <laughs> falling down. Yeah, I take my dagger to his throat and slit it. I mean, it's coup de gras. It, it, he's just a young boy, so that uh, is an instant kill. Then I'll try to hide the body, I guess. He had two hit points. Dude, you are so dark. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm sure oh. Sancho's fine. He wouldn't do anything stupid. Where, where are you going to drag <laughs> the body? Yeah, see this trowel? This trowel, like, I guess this is like a pig pen over here. I'll throw him in the trowel. You know, just... yeah, there you go. Okay. And start oh making God. a way for sweet little Caroline. <laughs> Okay, so what are the rest of you guys doing while he's doing this? I wanted to go just like investigate one of these houses, but okay, well yeah. you, you can do what you want. You can do what you want. What are you gonna do? All right, oh. yeah. All right, the uh, either hide or don't. I'm gonna stay still for reasons. Uh, I'll try to uh, knock on the door. You knock on the door. I'm still a disguised self. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I got, I got, I have an idea. You hear a voice inside. Who is it? Hey, uh, it's me, the plumber. The what? Hey, uh, got reports of a rat infestation. You got a unicorn in your pipes. <laughs> I, you, uh, come out here? I'm not sure about this. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, roll deception. Nice. It's a me, a Mario. <laughs> hey, I'm here to fix your pipes. Uh, come on. No, you don't sound like anybody I know. I, uh, 
I, 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 I think you should go away. Yes, go away. Hey, uh, uh, look, you're, you're cheap. He hired me and my crew to uh, fix your pipes because, you know, there's rats all over and we're led to believe that they're under your house. There's only one pipe and it's it's the sewer. So, you know, I mean the, the I mean, not the sewer, I mean the well. <laughs> Yeah, these people don't have pipes. <laughs> they smoke out of pipes, but that's about it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, go away. Uh, all right, all right. Hey, yep, you, I'll, you hear, I'll leave, you hear but, something uh, move, like a chair or something inside, like a scraping, and then uh, there's a like a clack at the south wall as it uh, sounds like she might be opening a window. that plan failed <laughs> what do you mean executed perfectly so sancho <laughs> what i mean what are you what are booyag and mungvar doing just hiding in the I, bushes I, i'm hiding in a bush <laughs> not making any sense <laughs> i'm taking it over this I've town been, hey look that I've goblins that me. hobgoblins trying to hide that bush that's what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I would like to uh, move away from Mungvar because he's obviously blowing my cover. Uh, <laughs> I did so well my my stealth roll. Uh, I'm going to move over and, and try to hide into this other bush. I assume I need to do another stealth roll, please. <laughs> no. No? Oh, my gosh. No, because right. your situation hasn't changed at all. You got five I, feet between you and Mungvar. It's yeah, it's not helping you at all. In a different bush. <laughs> yeah, right, and... This is a smaller bush. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll go over to the other bush then. <laughs> all right, fine. Oh, now you've that. got enough distance between you and and Mungvar. I'll let you re-roll. <laughs> I know that's what you're really after. I just want to get away. You rolled the same as me. You Holy did. crap! Eleven. I'm so good. <laughs> uh, give me two seconds, guys. I'm gonna grab a drink out of the fridge. Okay. I need to get away from Mungvar. I rolled the exact same self roll. <laughs> That'll show him. I'm a master predator lurking for my prey. Gonna kill every single person in this town. I guess it's come to that. I've seen Goblin Slayer. We need to repopulate. Sancho, can, can, dude. No oh, way. Dude. Or, that. <laughs> you, you left him speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even. <laughs> what I miss? We are streaming this, uh, Nothing. <laughs> you know, I could go back and watch it, Johnny, right? <laughs> John, Johnny wants to go real dark with it. Uh, yeah. And David is speechless. So. All right, so what are we doing? Right, Mungvar is going to go see and hide in this burned out building here, assuming no one's in it. I think if I can peek over and see if anyone's in it. Um, as you as you head over there and you start to crawl in, you notice that there's a cot against a wall with what appears to be an old man sleeping in it. Let me, uh, it's just like a single lamp burning in one corner. Let me... And it's a burned out house, so it's like a homeless guy? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Seems like it. I'm gonna dome him. Just crunch his head in with the morning star. All right. Uh, you walk over and. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh my god. Crit. Oh person. my god. <laughs> Goddamn hit All right. It's ten double. Th- All right. We're not doing the. Double the five, so fifteen. Fifteen. Yep. I mean. That's more than enough. I mean, it, it instantly kills him. You crush his skull, and there's just a hole where his head used to be, you know? Do you have any loot? Uh, 
All those guys generally have change. Go ahead and make a perception check. Or no. Yeah, perception's fine. I don't care. One or the other, so. You got 19, uh, well, it's fine. Investigation with minus two to that. Yeah, so. it's fine. Either way, so. So you find uh, three copper, five silver, and five gold. And you find the gold hidden, like in a in a little wooden keepsake box with uh, a picture of some, uh, you know, like a drawing of some uh, humey woman and a kid. Yeah, you don't care. Might as well blow my nose with it. And then just throw the snot covered picture onto his the hole on his face, and then I'm gonna okay. Water. Just hiding here. All right. So, what are you doing, Sancho? Now that you've snuck back over this direction, uh, I'm gonna move the hair away from the nape of her neck and then just stab straight into her spinal cord. All right. So it just looks like she's still sleeping. I'm not even gonna move the body after. Uh, go ahead and make it an attack roll. It's a precision attack, so. Yep. There's. In that real quick. Uh, roll damage. Yep. Killing her, this poor young girl, instantly. I saw this dude on the way over. So I'm gonna yeah, there's some guy out there with some barrels moving some stuff around, looks like. I'm going to head back down the alleyway. <laughs> I'm on a mission. <laughs> We're going to just take the whole village, and then this will just be a couple of times. Oh, it will be. All right. And Gabagool, Booyag, what are you guys doing? I'm kind of just headed up north this way. Okay, as you do that, the the person inside that house flips open the, the shutters on the south wall and screams into the night, Help! God! Somebody's here! Help! God! Help! Help! Yeah, and then no she, she... On the south side of the house? Yeah. So I can see yeah. this? Yep. And then she looks... Sleep. She looks... She <laughs> looks over and sees... Uh, Carolina there and the blood and screams ear, ear piercingly ah! and then uh, roll your sleep dice. I imagine she faints over the window. Sill. Yep. She falls asleep over the window sill. Uh, anybody else you're affecting with this? Uh, I mean, if I could see Dalibor, so I mean, he's within range, I guess. Okay. All right. So while you guys are doing that. Uh, you got you, you guys, uh, Booyog, Gavagul, Mungvar. You hear the screaming, and then it's just cut off. And about that time, r right after that, you hear some shouts from down to the south. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna book it uh, around this house I'm at. <laughs> just get around there. Okay. I'll start heading this way. And. <laughs> Are there any you windows see, on this you side of the you house? You see some older Humi passed out over the top of this barrel over here. What about on this side of the house? Uh, are there windows? Yep, there are windows. Can I climb yeah. up into one? Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm going to come over here, basically try to kill her, and then jump into the house. You're going to try to kill her? Yeah. Roll. Old lady in the wheelchair. Yeah. I'll move over. Uh, 
at this point we just gotta try to find something to steal and make it worth it. Yeah, that's why I wanna go to this house and loot. Yeah, old people have the nicest shit. Alright, <laughs> so, yep. Kill her. Jump in the window to ransack the house. Okay, and Gabagool goes in the other side. Booyog, Mungvar, what are you guys doing? I'm can, I shut the, can I shut the blinds behind me too, or the shutters? If you move her body. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm gonna hop out and start that. wing this way around the house. What you doing, Booyog? I am going to. Uh, there's a big set of doors to the north of you. Big set of and doors. And with that, there's a sign hanging out in front of it as well. Uh huh. Of the What's building. Do, can you read common? Uh, yeah. Uh, it just says it doesn't say anything, but it has a picture of a like a, a like a four posted bed on it. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. Probably don't know what that is because I probably slip sleep on the mat. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Makes it's no up to you. To me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Uh, I'm going to kind of run. I can see this oh, guy's I, asleep. Actually, right? it would have a. It would probably have a tankard cup on it as well. You know. Tankard in a I mean, in a bed. I mean, you know what a cup looks like. I do know what a cup looks like. Look, looks surprisingly clean for a cup, but you know. Yeah, and if I know any, uh, just like taverns at home, there's always somebody inside. Probably don't want to go in there. Uh -huh. I'm going to run across and uh, hide over here by this guy. Is there any, what, if I look over there, I need to do a perception check just so I can see what's going on. I want to just run. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a whole lot. Holy cow, my rolls are terrible now. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you see anything? Uh, nope, too busy running across. <laughs> You're really focused. Uh, I mean, okay, so what's this This place look like? It's all run down and all broken up, or is this just... It does look like oh, something do has happened here recently. You're not sure what... It doesn't look like fire. It looks like pieces of the building have been broken away, but you're not sure by what. Is there a place to hide somewhere over here? Ah, uh, there's some rubble in the area, yeah. I'll do that, so I don't know. The, like the building to the north has a solid wall in between you, but you could go into this building to the south of you. Okay, so I'll just kind of hide somewhere in there. How far back does it go? Can I see all the way down? Uh, no, there's a center wall about halfway down its length that is blocking your vision, and you can see a door that goes that direction, but... I'll just find some... Uh, I'll find a corner wherever I am farthest away from everything and just hide. So All I right. Think I need to... oh, please, for once, be good. 24, okay. All right. And Mungvar, where are you going? Um, basically just up and around this building. Okay. Like, waiting to... The hope is, if someone comes up here, I can ambush them. Okay. And you guys are gonna try to loot that building? Primarily, I guess, like, if there's any, like, weapons on display or anything. I don't know. Any trophies. You look... Kind of like that. I, wanna, it... I wanna make sure there's no one else in the house. And then, kind of, yeah. You just... don't, you don't see anybody. I mean, you don't, you don't see anybody else in the house. Either one of you. I see Sancho. I see Sancho. Yeah, there. you can. the The center area of the house is pretty. The most of the house is just pretty open. Um, you notice that there's racks and racks and racks of uh, human clothing hanging up along the walls and stuff. And what appears to be, uh, a. a like a mannequin like human sized mannequin with uh, some clothing on it and stuff like that. I'll start gonna... ransacking the uh, kitchen. Both leather oh, and cloth. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna douse all the clothings uh with my oil flask. Okay. And get that ready to light on fire. 
once we're ready to leave. Yeah. While, while you guys are doing that, you hear some shouts from, you know, on the other side of the wall where you close the window. It's like, alarm, alarm! Murderous! And uh, pounding feet. You hear uh, a bunch of people now uh, moving around uh, in the village around you. Going to light the clothes on fire and then run out the way that Gabagool came in. Hold on. I'm also just taking one random piece of clothing. I don't even know what it is. Just grabbing it. Look cool. All right. Uh, is this like a single-storied house? Yeah, they all are. Okay. Except for the one with the bed and stuff on the sign. That one's two stories. Did I get any? Uh, did I get any food? Yeah, you find some some basic, you know, fare. Bread, cheese, stuff them, meat. St stuff them in my bag. And then I'll start heading out with Sancho. Okay. Alright, let's see. These guys are going to be running down this way. Comes out there. Got these three to come out there. Gonna come out there, come out there, come out here, and come out there. Okay. Mild concern. Go ahead and roll initiative for me, everybody. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Nice, net one on it. No survivors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no us. one will no notice if it's no, <laughs> yeah, no goblin survivors. <laughs> Good thing you killed the weakest ones first. The two children and a grandma in a wheelchair. And an old man. Probably been nice. <laughs> and, and the and the hopeless man. Uh, he's just sleeping. I was I was relying on you guys to kill him. So. <laughs> Oh, the, oh, that homeless man. Oh, yeah. The homeless one that uh, David killed. All right, I'll just use <laughs> that as my token for initiative. All right. Sancho, you go first. This is just so I can track the order that things happen instead of willy-nilly. Mungvar, so I, you see people run around the building to the north of you. Um, most of them have torches. Torches, you say? It's a mob. Uh, and then this side of the building, this wall specifically, is what I was trying to light on fire. Okay. Hoping that's starting to go up in flames. It's going to take a while. That's fine. Well, I mean, it was a big old pile of clothing, some oil. So. Yeah, but, you know, that oil is lamp oil. It's not designed to burn quickly like gasoline. Fire. Yep. I mean, there is fire inside the building there. It's definitely on fire and filling the room with smoke now. So what you gonna do? The building is on fire. It will eventually burn down. It's not gonna happen in a minute. Uh, I'll be jumping out the window. Uh, before you leave. That's what I was gonna suggest. So I see it. <laughs> it jumps out the window. Just, just in case. <laughs> and there are humies everywhere. Fuck. <laughs> Most of them go, Goblin! Oh, man. Well, 
Who yelled that? Who yelled that? Uh, Benjamin. Pick, pick one, Benny. Benjamin. Yep, that ben. that was me. Ben, <laughs> didn't you, Ben? Just had to say something. <laughs> When I was looking through the random names I made for these, I saw that, and I was like, well, I have to put a Benjamin in there. And I was like, oh, they're going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do? 16 hit. What you do? What you... Oh, oh Eldridge Blast, straight the guy who yelled at me. Okay, straight 16 will hit. Yeah, that Four? Four. And he goes down, but you you, you know you're you're unsatisfied because you have the feeling he could live through it. Ugly for the rest of his life. Uh, okay. Uh, looking to my left, I don't see Booyah. Looking to my right, do I see Mungvar? Uh, yeah. Oh. That would behind me. You guys both still have Bardic Inspiration, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep. As long as that lasts. Uh, Until we use it? Ten minutes. Oh, damn. Cool. Hell yeah. That's been longer than ten minutes by now, isn't it? I mean, we were in the sewers when you gave it to him. Oh. I gave it to Mungvar up here. You really haven't been out here been that long. You really haven't been here that long, so I'm going to say you still have it for the time being, but it could run out soon. Hey. (laughs) Use it soon. Uh, uh, this guy always reminded the DM of our homework. It's trying to keep it real. Trying. <laughs> I'm going to take. Let's be off. honest. We deserve to die at this point. <laughs> well, some of you Never. do. <laughs> some of you just have uh, Sharon brought back to life. <laughs> Take off this way. Use Dalibor's cover, kind of like as a hostage kind of thing. See, so dart over there, and grab a hold of him, yeah. and like, get back. <laughs> Prop up his lifeless, well, his sleeping body. <laughs> well, know? he looks lifeless because he's, you know, not moving on his own. So that's fine. Done. All right, now the townsfolk get to go. All right, so all around you, you see humans, humans, human, 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 and then you look, uh, Sancho. You look to the north of you there, and you see one figure stride out of a house, and she she raises this long bow and looks you dead in the eyes. And you feel death coming for you. Nice. Time to make some babies. She stri- puts an arrow to her bow, uh, pulls it back, and the top of the string pops off of her bow. <laughs> she kind of makes a uh, snarl and uh, quickly restrings it. Hey, now you know how it feels. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Got a hostage, don't shoot me. Uh, <laughs> one, one of the women that runs out of the inn sees you and says, Get away from him! and runs at you with a, with a uh, tankard swinging it at your skull. I have three quarters cover. Don't hurt me. <laughs> she she misses <laughs> by a mile, smashes the smashes the the object into the uh, into the barrel, uh, which it doesn't break the tank tankard because it's made out of metal. But uh, she misses you. Then you see a, a a fairly finely dressed woman step out of the house to the south of you. She sees you as well, and she pulls out some slim throwing knives, and the wings one your direction. Uh, missing you and sinking it into the barrel once again. As you dodge around the barrel and the man, barely avoiding uh, 
catastrophe. Let's see which one is this. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> These are sweet little uh, NPC icons. Uh, this one runs up uh, holding his halberd out looking for an opening. Let's see. Uh, the other woman holding two tankards uh, drops both of them and reaches uh, into little hidden things on the on her side and comes up with brass knuckles huh. and uh. sees you, Gabagool, in the on the other side of the window, runs over your direction, and takes a punch at your head through the window. Yep. Uh, missing you, but. You know, now blocking your exit. Hey, come on. This guy runs down towards Mungvar. And, uh, let's see, what's he using? Bring it. It looks like a rope. Uh, or a he's gonna belt. belt. Not oh, belt. <laughs> like his belt. He pulls a horseshoe out of his pocket. <laughs> No, that's that's what we're gonna do. He pulls a horseshoe out of his out of his pocket and throws it at you. <laughs> Makeshift weapons. It it uh, misses, bounces off the corner, and strikes him in set instead. Monvar is invulnerable. It bounces off of him. He looks down at it, uh, smiles. And then looks back up with up at you, and you see pointed teeth in his mouth. Yeesh. Oh wait. God, the album are is these, sticky. Are these all references? There's some references in these names, aren't there? <laughs> Good luck. Uh, let's see. So this one's gonna run up, and. <laughs> he just pulls a dagger and tries to knife you. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, he, he gets you for six points of piercing damage. i reduce it by three. Oh, this is magic. Nope. Tank. This one comes up and tries to smash you with a frying pan. I'm going to try shuffle. That's going to be an 18 to hit. I believe that hits. Yep, needs beats. For four points of bludgeoning damage. Take another one. It's going to bring me down to like little taps. <laughs> the sweet flower goal comes over and tries to whip you with a bag of flowers what are you doing with those it's the middle of the night <laughs> and, and I'm gonna say it hits you <laughs> and then it, do, it does double damage because it smells so nice and, and you like, now smell like flowers which is horrible <laughs> Ew, gross. It just adds to my heroism that I have these flower petals floating around, you know? And then a guard runs around the corner. With a spear, huh? Hmm, sounds good. And he gets a 21 to hit. Very nice. His advantage. Oh, yeah, he does. Let's, let's see if he crits. No. Right. But he does six points of piercing damage. Okay. Dude, when Robbie got those double crits. Yeah, that's crazy. And there. Okay, and then this guy's gonna step out here, and Why are they we're all good. Coming? 
<laughs> That's how villages protect themselves. Not how real life works. Well, it is here, but there's additional things D going on here. D &D. So <laughs> this, this is fantasy. <laughs> this is real. Okay, Gabagool. <laughs> it's D and D. Actual community. <laughs> This is how I kill so off your characters. <laughs> oh, you wish. You can try. Oh, There's I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> since, since I'm, since she could punch me through the window, that means I've been looking out, right? Well, out I assume that you were like he climbed out, and yeah, you were planning on climbing out right, right behind him. Yeah. Um, I gave her so disadvantage she, on her attack. So, is she blocking my path? Like, could I try and shoot this person? No, I don't. I don't think you could. She's pretty effectively blocking any any shot at anybody else. But if she's in the way, then that means like if I backed up, I could shoot her, right? Yeah, like, I'm not gonna miss her. And she okay. can't have a she can't have an attack of opportunity against you because of the window frame. I don't think that that like she could. Huh. You could easily back was, away from. I was her. gonna use. Yeah, I was gonna use that nimble escape anyway. Uh, the house okay. Is on fire. Just yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Every round is six seconds. How much does fire spread right in six too? seconds? Yeah, there's a window. There, there's a there. window right here too. This yeah. is the one I originally looked at. So I'll go ahead and just back up so I can shoot at her. Okay. And I'll. This is if I get another one. <laughs> the first round of combat. Hey, because this is the only time I get two attacks. That one probably Come saved on. Sancho's life. So, or Sancho's life. Come on. Come on. Come on. Eighteen okay. Ooh. hits for five damage. All right. So you shoot an arrow at this woman that tried to punch you in the head, and she tries to jerk back out of the way, but all she does is manage to catch it in the throat instead of the chest. And she goes down. Uh, <laughs> phrasing. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I didn't catch that right away. <laughs> well, anyways. Why Why are you attacking me? I'm just a dwarf over here, eh? Come on. Do you see any dwarfs Can in I town? See <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm just, I'm just your friendly neighborhood dwarf doing dwarf things. All right, so uh, can I see, can I see Bruno through the window? Bruno, um, how tall are you? Do I have two and a half? Nope. <laughs> Think about it. All right, then <laughs> then I'll run back up so I can peek out through the window. I, then can I shoot him? I mean, you can see him, but you're gonna need something to stand on to shoot out that window. I'll stand up on the windowsill. Jumps up on the window. So, okay, that's cool. You can do that. He's like, but I don't want to go out there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll wait a second. I'll take my second shot at him. Nice. So that's uh, 12 plus 4, 16 damage. That was max damage. You catch him right in the eye socket. And he just kind of stiffens up and falls backwards. <laughs> Thud. I'll just, uh, I'll stay perched up on here, on this little uh, windowsill. Okay. Then? Yep. Booyah. <laughs> Shit's happening. Oh, here we, here we <laughs> go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Let's take 20 minutes so you can do your uh, chaos. I don't think I'm I going. Ho I hope you get the double plus, the double action. We are finishing so this. I don't care what time I go to bed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. We're so doing over I, overtime. Everyone now, adds a peanut butter jelly to their inventory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a while. I hope he gets the sex change one. <laughs> I'm good with that. And, and, and it's irreversible. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, unless you unless you get the same wild match surge later on. <laughs> Not likely. Alright, so uh knowing okay, so I should know about Tasha's mind whip that 
It's verbal only, but with all the noise, and I can whisper this, I'm trying to stay hidden as much as possible. Would that work? You have no you idea. You, you can't right. know that. It's impossible for you to know whether or not it would be noticed. Okay, even whispering. With all the commotion that's going on outside, I mean... You can draw chaos. your own conclusions. I'll I leave will, that to I, you. I, I, oh, man. I am not giving away free rule information <laughs> on how I will take something or not take something. Okay, I will I will go ahead and do it then. Holy crap. It's going to kill me. Um, Tasha's mind whip at Erunu, the, the old lady, and... I'm going to attempt to do it as quietly as possible. I assume I can see her, but I'm not really sure. I guess you could be the judge of whether or not I can Who? find a sight. Uh, the one at the very north. The one with the boat, Eru. No, you're not going to be able to see her. Because uh, okay. you ducked around some garbage there. So. Yeah. So You can okay, see Sancho. You can see the guy slumped over the bucket. You can see Valentina. And you can see Zavradomir. 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 Where's... Oh, the one to the south. Oh, I doubt I can even see him because I think he's behind the walls, isn't he? Uh, the wall is torn out enough there that you can see oh. him because he's trying to menace Sancho. So you can kind of see him. Kind of see okay. him. Okay, so if I can kind of... Okay, I can kind of see him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on him then. Okay. And it's an intelligence save of 13. Okay. All right, and so regardless, he's going to take some damage. Ha. He did not make his save. Okay. Uh, so he takes 12 psychic. Okay. And then I guess I'm rolling on the chart. This could be really good or really bad. 22. This is the time to summon an elemental. And 29. And 29. Yeah, the elemental will be perfect right now. <laughs> cool. I'm pretty sure that's not it. Uh, cool. As, oh, as your it. whip reaches out and you know hits the target, and you can feel you feel that grim satisfaction of of you know hurting your enemy. Although you see he doesn't fall, um, but rather looks around for you. You feel suddenly lighter, and then lighter yet. And even lighter, and your feet rise up off the ground. Oh. <laughs> this is underneath our roof. And uh, yeah. and uh -huh. and then and then you're you're not just lighter, but you're buoyant, and then even more buoyant, and then yeah, and this all happens very quickly. It's like a oh 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 oh, and reverse gravity underneath of yourself. So gravity now, whatever force was pulling you down, is now pulling you up. So you smack into the ceiling, which is just kind of a thatched roof. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, what are you going to do? I am, uh, it's thatched? Yeah. Uh, I, I will try and, uh... Go for some oh support beams. Goodness. Yeah, I mean, support beams, I'm going to find find something to grab onto, and I am... Make a, a dexterity trying... check for me. Okay. Just a check, not a save. Oh, uh, sorry, a check, sorry. Let me let me do that again. Yog is blasting off again! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18. Okay. It's the same plus. Oh, it is the same, so we could just use the 11. What it, it's fine. All right, so you managed to grab onto one of the larger spars as you hit, and your your feet, because the roof is not even designed to try to hold things from the bottom, uh, and your weight is enough to punch a hole through it. But you managed to grab onto something, so now you are hanging with your feet straight up into the air from this wooden spar in the in the roof. Uh huh. Like you're doing a yep. handstand. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, and, okay. And I highly doubt you're doing anything else. But... Oh no, this is it. 
Yes, this is your life now. <laughs> this is it. Okay. What is wrong with you? Mungvar, your turn. <laughs> None of you just, see that. Like, like. Rise up and leave the scene. I, I, I don't think, I think Sancho's busy dodging things, so he probably doesn't even see it, and definitely nobody else but does. It's, it's going to be such a sight, though, when Sancho turns around and being like, what the hell? Yeah, but from his angle, I, I don't even think he, he can see, see him. It. Like even if he looked directly where he is right now, he would just see a you know a hole yeah. in the roof. There's already one, so. <laughs> I have my perfect hiding spot for now. Just, just like, think how much worse this out. would be if no, no, you were in open air. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is gonna end. <laughs> All right, Mungvar. All right, Mung Let's... Mungvar. All right, Mungvar's gonna do some go, damage. Go for Pitar, but I'm flanked, so I have disadvantage. No. All right. Well, I have nine, so that's a miss. Uh, cool. Can't do anything else. All right. You do have everyone has a uh, inspiration? Temple. Oh, I have right. inspiration. Oh, yeah, I haven't used If you think shit. it'll do any oh, good. It's a uh, disengage because we're going to. Yeah, yeah. disengage. Get out of there. We can always disengage, so. I can't. Well, he's, a, a, he's a hobgoblin. Oh, yeah. Bro. Oh, you're a hobgoblin. 13 to hit. He yeah. just had to be taller. Class race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just had to assert your dominance by being taller. Yo, look at me. I'm special. All right. Yeah. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, that hit him? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thirteen, oh yeah. Our plan's working. <laughs> All right. We keep this up as a running gag. Everyone lives but David. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, I I lower I lowered his AC temporarily due to something else that's going on, but you know, don't that's worry about it. That's another radiant damage. Oh, he's taking advantage of it. Okay. Actually, I killed his daughter. <laughs> Carolina has red hair. <laughs> Carolina was actually his daughter made out of wedlock. God, this is such chaos. No, I never knew. Are you done? Yep, so did you have the smite damage? I did. Okay, right, yep, that's it. That's one of the guards. And you smash it into him, and, and you can see the glint of heavier armor underneath, which absorbs part of the blow. But uh, you still did some heavy damage to him. Uh, Sancho, your turn. Cast Immolate. So everyone within five feet of me. Nice. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Dexterity saving throw? Half as much on a success. Oh, wow, that's unfortunate. <laughs> nice, dude. Yes, uh, dude. So, Valentina. Oh, rolled a nat one. And Zeronomir. Oh, dude, that was max damage. Max Hell yeah. Oh, max damage. Only got a, a six. So, any positives aren't going to matter. So, max damage to both of them. Terrible roll. 16. <laughs> Damn, dude. Goes down. I told you we're taking this town. I don't give a <laughs> that, that was like your uh, that was like your old your ultimate move right there. Valentina goes down. Get, get, get surrounded. Get surrounded by humans and then just incinerate them. You know what's funny is I picked that. And that barrel was on fire it. now. Wait. What were you doing? To, what? I, so my plan was is because he was a bard. He was going to jump off of something really high while he was on fire using Emily and then cast Featherfall so he'd slowly descend while playing music. It would be really <laughs> cool, like... And then this is Hell how yeah. it's being used. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you doing? That's perfect. That's like, that's like heavy metal. Picked it for the... Uh, are you going to move at uh, all, or...? I can now, right? It's a 10. Yeah. Looking at the house, can I? Is there smoke coming out of the house? Does it look like it's on fire? It's definitely pouring smoke out of the south side window. 
Okay, so it probably wouldn't be smart to jump back in. Probably not. It's full of smoke. Your friend Gabagool standing in the window with smoke pouring out, you know, behind him. But, you know, let's face it, it's not going to burn down in in uh, even a minute, which is ten rounds. So it's okay, going to take so a while. Go... Oh, fuck. There's, there's a wizard down there? I don't want to go towards a fucking wizard. So, uh, and then because I'm on fire for a minute, five feet. Can we, can we say that this building is catching on fire? Well, yeah, it would be. Alright. Uh, is there Especially a, since that thatch is is highly flammable, you know, up on the roof. Uh, it would be burning Uyaga, already. I'm, I'm, Uyaga, I'm sorry, but... Yeah, he doesn't know you're... I mean, you don't know he's there. No, not yep, close. So, so I'm gonna run into this building, and then are there any windows on the back side that I could jump out of? <laughs> Yes. Alright. I am going to run through the building. Show me wherever there's a freaking window, and I will run straight, uh, straight across from you. There's one, and there's one ten feet up from the bottom. Uh, is he yelling at this point? He sees I, me I, I don't know. Is he? <laughs> you see a blazing <laughs> inferno go by underneath <laughs> of you. Yeah. Uh, can I even recognize it's him at this point? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know either. Make an intelligence check. Oh, that's going to go over real well. Uh, intelligence. Oh, come on. Don't oh, forget to ignite the thatch there right where you exited, because that would definitely catch fire, too. That's I have an intelligence drawing. of zero right now. That's, that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm just having fun. All right. I rolled a nat one for a zero. <laughs> yep, you have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know who I am at this point. An actual I'm zero. <laughs> I am a straw hanging on to a roof. That's it. This is not going to go well. <laughs> the roof is on fire Burn. now. <laughs> and it's burning yeah. a lot quicker than that house is. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So, so now the, the town's thing. folk. Now, you get to the other side. If you turn around and look back, you can see Booyak hanging, you know, or doing a, a magnificent handstand on the roof. Okay. <laughs> Why are you doing a handstand? Okay. Um, so looking at the arrow new, like, does she look strong? Uh, well, she's an elf. She's the only elf you've seen in this town. Maybe she's here to save us from the mimic townsfolk. The mimic townsfolk? I'm going to declare that they're all mimics because that's the theme. Okay. And I'm sure they're sticky somewhere. <laughs> what are, you, are you done, Sancho? Right, so, no. I'm going to... I mean, I've killed a lot of people. But, I mean, honestly, it does seem kind of strong. Come on, I'm man. To... It's 10 o'clock. Let's yeah. move it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to jump off this cliff, and before I hit the bottom, I'm going to cast Featherfall. You already cast a spell this round. Shit, then I'm not going to jump off the cliff because I don't want to die. I'm going to move five feet down. <laughs> so I'm not standing right in front of the window and so she doesn't have a shot at me. Uh, as a goblin, you can bonus act and hide. Uh, as fire? He is on oh, fire. Yeah, on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can always end that. Up no, to you. <laughs> no, because if you want to, before I... you went through the window. Are, are you done? Yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't see you before. Are you uh, done? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Fire is still up. For a minute. 
All right. So, Aranu turns her bow towards you, Gabagool. Hey, come on. And she is going to shoot you. Or not. Her bowstring sl- slips off one. slips yes. off the top of her bow again. Yeah. She curses in anger and then puts it back again. Ending her turn. Eh. Jesus. I, her off. I mean yes. what is now you know how it feels. That's how I spent all combat last. <laughs> what is the luck on that? gonna shoot at me huh all right okay so let's see this one saw him go that way and it's going to run over here to this window you see the window here fly open and somebody sticks their head out of it and uh looks at you sancho and then flips a knife at you. Uh, really? Okay, attempts to flip a knife at you and instead cuts their hand. <laughs> so well Dropping armed it. and trained militia here. <laughs> I mean, the number of nat ones I'm getting. It's crazy. Okay, so... <laughs> And drops the knife outside of the house. So, yeah. And then ducks back inside a little bit so that she's out of view. Oh, that's smart. Uh, this person ducks around here. You see this. Uh, There's no way. Oh, man. Older guy oh, saw you dr- duck through there. He looks around and, and sees the fire, <laughs> is a little confused, and then he casts a spell on himself. You see a shimmering light run across his body. Let's see. Uh, let's kill Mungvar. So, no, Mungvar. I'm coming to save you. That's not going to hit him. Survive. Also not going to hit him. Hey. Also not going to hit him. Hey. Also not going to hit him. Oh, shit. Nat 20. Oof. How, how did he say, oh, shit, before? What? Are you watching the stream? <laughs> I'm all like, what? I'm just listening. What, why am I GM rolling, guys? <laughs> okay, so. Yes, yeah, so that would be that one. So. Which one crit on me? The dagger person. Ooh. So you take. Eight, nine, nine points of piercing damage. Alright, I reduce it to six. Thank god I took heavy weapon master, or heavy armor master. What, uh, what class are you? Oh, I'm a paladin. Oh, nice. Both of glory. And, uh, you're over next to a window, aren't you? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Completely surrounded. The window opens up, and somebody on the other side screams and then shuts it again. <laughs> These fools, and I can swing in any direction. Uh, let's see. Let's go, I guess we're going to find... going to go there, and then run the rest of the way over this way. Sees Gabagool in the window and ducks in this way. Can't attack him though. Go there. To there. And there. I think that's all of them. So I just have Alexander. Alright. Alexander already had a nice toothy grin, but then he starts changing. He turns red, grows scales. What? 
and before you know it, there's a, a, a relatively large red dragon standing before you that gr that uh, growls and moves forward, Mugvar. And you, it, you hear him growl uh, in your own language. It was foolish of you to come here, little goblin. I will not Bob eat goblin. you. Bob goblin. Whatever. I'm over five foot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Plus. Ah, misses with the first attack. Claw, claw, bite. So that is a yeah a uh, 18 exactly you got me yep and you take 8 points of slashing damage from a claw I'm guessing dragon claws are magic yep you know what let me get an actual sheet to roll off of here that'll be a lot easier to do Boop, 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 boop. All right, so, and then we'll do bite. Oh, I've got the wrong one. Hold on a second. The plus 14. <laughs> I had the wrong one. Give me a break. There you go, 21. I was giving him the wrong plus. So the other, uh... other claw would have been 14, but that still would have missed. And I'm down. Chomp. Until when Ben decides to just end games. <laughs> oh no, I, 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 I planned on having him in here, but he wouldn't reveal himself unless you guys went on a murder spree. So. And you went on a murder spree, so. He's a red dragon. Why is he not siding with us? Uh, so he was already taking over the town himself in human form. As a kid with a horseshoe? What the fuck? Yep. Never gonna happen. All right. Uh, I I made up a story. If you want, I can tell you later, but. Not right now. Let's let's finish this. Um, let's see, and then that's it because these two are going to turn and run away immediately. This has been much how I play Metal Gear Solid. You're stealthy up until they spot you, and then you just try to kill us. <laughs> okay, Gabagool. So I assume I see that dragon. Well, the thing about goblins is gob gob goblins aren't that strong in a, in a straight-up fight. So there was only four of you against all of these people. You wanted to stick around. I mean, sooner or later, bad things were going to happen. Keep going. I mean, we took out, like, half the town. Mm-hmm. Like I said. So there is a window this way, right? Yes. And there's okay, a red so, dragon but, that way. Yeah. So running might be good. But, but since I said I was going to shoot at her. I'm going to take my shot at Eru. Eru, yep. Eru. 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 19? A 19 will hit. 9 damage. Nice. Yeah, I honestly, I just put her in there for eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll be like, well, time to get the fuck out. Because having a town full of just boring old humans was not good enough for me, I guess. I could have taken where, you guys. Where, where was the door here? On this house? Was it... Four goblins should never be able to kill an entire village, guys. Oh, we would have... That's the thing. When you have four level four goblins... Yeah. Yeah, but there's... How often do goblins live past at least one adventure? We're heroes in the goblin world. We're too good. 
So where was the door on this house? Like level 20. Uh, the door is about... Uh, actually, it's just south of the fire. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, never mind. Actually, I'll go 10. Or so. no, no, this is the yeah. one that's split. So it would be actually a, straight over from you where you are here. There should be two doors. One of them is up there where it's broken already, and the other one is straight across from you. That's fine. Either way, I was going to go this way. So I'll go 20, 25, 30, and I'll start heading towards this alley. I think 30 is my movement. Yeah, that's it. So... Bonus action, hide. Okay. Is that just stealth roll? Yeah. 18. So the, the dragon bit you, but it, I mean, it didn't chew, because goblin, you know. So while you're, I don't think that's enough to, instant wasn't enough to instantly kill you, was it? David? Hmm? That wasn't no, enough to instantly kill you, was it? Okay. No. You did like two below more than. Ah, that gotcha. All right, so Gabagool ducks into the shadows. That's it. All right. Buyog, you are hanging on for dear life. Yeah. Uh, so how bad is that fire? Yeah, it's it's burning your direction. <laughs> uh, how fast does it seem like it's going to get to me? Within less than a minute. Less than a minute? Yep. All right, so I'm still okay for the moment. For the moment. For the I moment. just been uh, doodling oh, those little floating. fire things with uh, uh, with every round. So after, like, before Sancho's round, I'll do more fires. I was going to say you could just float away, but then realistically, no, there's a dragon. And, well, I pulled it away, but I it's probably going to reverse and I'm going to fall to death. <laughs> you don't have feather fall? Uh, no, no, not, not in my spell list. Uh, um, okay. Holy crap. Uh, this is a tough one here. Um, okay. So I'm hanging here. Can I see the, that wizard, or is he out of view from my vantage point? Um, Olga? No, no, uh, the wizard. No, no, no. Randomir. Yeah, you should be able to see him. Uh, okay. Um, so, Sancho, are you still on fire? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I am... Oh, this is going to really suck. This could be really bad. Uh, I am going to... I don't have any options here. Actually, I'm just going to hold that option. I am going to try and climb up and just hang on for dear life as close to the to the beam as possible, just like hugging it and put my legs around and just kind of wait for the fire and see what happens. And that is all I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, make make a uh, athletics check for me. Of course. Oh, strength. You're trying to hang on, so. Uh, yeah, okay. This is going to be interesting. An 11. Not bad considering it's a negative 2. Uh, you managed to hang on. I just wanted to see if you'd, like, do really bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you managed to hang on. I was going to be like, if you rolled really well, I'm like, ah, you not you managed to get a hold of even a thicker section, you know, or something. But you managed to hang on. Okay. Well, we'll deal with, like, yeah, getting something better later and moving. But for now, I'm just going to hang on. And try not to draw any attention to myself as much as possible. Okay. That's it. <laughs> That's all. Mungvar is down at the moment. Go ahead and make a death saving throw. I'm going to get hit by a dragon. doesn't really matter too much. I'll come save you. <laughs> well, you're unconscious, so you don't know really know what the dragon's doing, but... Uh, hey, one success. 
And possibility, you could make it back. Sancho, your turn. Also, how are these humans reacting to the fact that a dragon just popped up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I already told you the the two I hadn't moved immediately ran away. They didn't know there was a dragon living amongst them, so that is blatantly obvious to the rest of you. Sancho? 5, 10, 15, and then I'm going to jump off and cast Featherfall on myself. Okay. And then another 15 feet once I hit the I feel like we should call him Matchstick. Oh, I, I'm definitely going to turn the flames off, by the way. How did you move over there? <laughs> I don't know. I did, and it worked. <laughs> Get back here. You're <laughs> off the screen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to be out of this screen. You can't get me if you can't see me. Let me go. Okay, fine. <laughs> Bye. Uh, but yeah. All right. I have exited the scenario. <laughs> He's off and running. He's on fire. We can all tell where he is. No, no, no. I turned it off. Oh, did you? Off. Okay. I turned it off. I can turn it off. Uh, but I have successfully fleed. <laughs> Nice. It's, it's like a de dead by daylight game. You know, you have to survive and then just escape. All right. So, uh, run, run, and the, the dragon doesn't attack the the humans when they run away. So, run, 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 run. There's absolutely no way they would stay and fight. Run. Uh, Gabagool, he doesn't, he made sure he, uh, passes right next to the house to avoid you. This, I was hiding too. Oh uh, yeah, but you see, you see one of them running past you screaming, DRAGON! And then you hear a roar. Arr! Jump off that cliff, buddy. And then Eru Nu tries to attack it because she's the hero type. And then out, and then south. And Aranu, yes, Aranu steps out, tries to shoot it. Let's see whether or not that I'll fight you, beast. Well, I didn't get a one. <laughs> I didn't get a one. Uh, it's armor class 18, so that will actually hit. She one-shots a dragon. No. <laughs> okay. She hits right on, right underneath the scales. Uh, so it's she the managed to find a, uh, a she managed to stick an arrow in one of its wings. That's what she managed to do because that didn't do much. Both the dragon slayer. Uh, <laughs> she take a second shot. That'll hit as well. I should be rolling a d8, not a d6. My bad. Oh, much better. Okay. I feel bad. Uh, all right, so, and then she's going to come out and run south. Uh, she runs right past you, so it's up to you what you want to do. You want to stay hidden or sneak attack? Yeah, I'll, take, I'll, her I'll, I'll, take her yeah. out. Take her out. Slit her throat. Oh, I forgot I left my weapon in the uh, sewers. You did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I forgot she to grab really... it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so you're not going to attack her? Nah. Okay, so she nah, runs south. I don't, I don't have a melee. All right, and then the dragon, <laughs> the dragon turns, uh, the dragon turns and uh, flaps over this direction towards her, and set and uh, roars out a challenge to Eru. Stupid elf. And claw claw bite. That's gonna miss. That is not gonna miss. And bite. Bite does miss. I think it bit its tongue. Yes, it bit its tongue. <laughs> but it first did 16 points of damage to the elf. 
bashes her with with a claw, and she stumbles backwards. At her armor rent, and that's it. Gabagool, go. All right, I'll run into the Sally. What Do I see? Is it open? Is there doors, windows? Is there a possibility of me seeing Booyug? Well, I think no. at this point I'm going to be hollering out, Help! There's no <laughs> windows I, in between the buildings. After seeing that everybody's like leaving and running and screaming because of the dragon, I'm going to say help. Why would you have windows in between buildings like <laughs> I mean, that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's 5, 10, 15, 20. Is Merlin still there? Yep, he's still... St oh, I didn't move him, did I? Uh, he probably would have come back out here, actually. And then... Right. And then been like, what the heck's going on? And that's it. <laughs> Hopefully he can kill a dragon. <laughs> I'll go 20. I don't know. Out of all of our up friends, here! You're, you're, up here! you're starting to be the most annoying at the end, Booyag. I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> Throw me a rope! Shit. <laughs> wait, Throw wait, you think I have... I think I have a rope? Come on, I'm a goblin. Come on. I got a rope. Actually, actually I do have a rope. Oh, good. Somebody. <laughs> Please. I'm having a picture uh, in my mind. Because. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all I can move is 30 feet. That's can I see him through here? Or, like, what? You can see him up on the roof. What's my, what's my vantage point? You can see him it's up on top fire. of the roof. It's an angled roof, and the, the thatch comes almost all the way down to a uh, human's head height, so. What the, what the hell are you doing on the roof? That's not where you're supposed to be. Something went wrong. <laughs> you found a roof doing a handstand. What are you doing? <laughs> well... Well, just to you know there's a dragon, I'm getting the hell out of here. Get me down, I need help. What do you mean, get you down? I'm gonna I fall to do? up. Use your, use your fancy magic to get you I mean, down. I mean, you're yelling, you're yelling at him and yeah. the roof is on fire headed yeah. towards him. <laughs> Why would I go towards fire and a dragon? I'm just saying. <laughs> just throw me That's, around. That, that, I can't even throw a rope that far. Oh, okay, here's here's what I'll do. I'll grab the rope, the, the bundle of rope, and I'll throw it towards him. Oh. <laughs> the whole thing. Yep. Oh my god. The gosh. whole thing. I'm not holding the other end. All right, make an athletic check. Just the bundle check. of rope. I can already tell you. He gets it to you. It is now sitting inches hey. from the fire. There you go. Get out of there. I can't get down. I'm sure your chaos magic will work and, and I'm, use it again. I'm sure we're way and past the six seconds here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> just... There you go. That's my turn. Uh, okay, Booyag. Yeah. Um. I guess I would say I try to hide as a bonus action. And then, uh, like Mungvar, you can go ahead and roll your second... Uh, saving throw since there isn't going to be anything to interfere with it. Second Pace. success. Hey, right. one more. If you, get, back. if you get your third, you wake up with one hit point. <laughs> and run. <laughs> and then run like hell. All right. So I get, I will. Uh, so it's within reach. The rope. Yeah. I would assume it's on the floor, right by you. Well, uh, I'm on the top of the roof. Yeah, but it's on the floor. Yeah, he said he you made it. Threw it on the floor. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah I mean, the, the roof's on fire. Oh, you didn't throw it up there. You threw it on the floor. Well, I was trying to throw it to him. I guess. Oh, okay. I didn't. The, 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 said the, you made it. Okay. I thought you were throwing it, you know, up on the roof. Sorry. I thought yeah, he was like. You're you're on the inside of the roof, though. I'm on I'm on the outside, hanging like I'm. Oh, hanging it. Upward. Okay. It looks like, like he's doing hanging. a handstand on the roof. No, uh, hanging no I was I was picturing it the there. other way. I got I, I was... got my legs oh, wrapped right. around, and I'm trying to trying to grab, and like my hair, or if I got hair, is falling upward. So <laughs> he's doing he's doing a pull up, but he's upside down. Kind of, sort of. I just—it doesn't look right. It looks okay. very, very wrong. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, Ben, ben did say I got it to you, so you have a bundle of rope with you. Yes. <laughs> 50 okay. Foot. Uh, tie yourself to a burning building. I will tie. I will <laughs> tie it around my waist and throw it down towards the ground, and I'll say, "Grab the rope." And that's what that'll be. Uh, and I'll. I think that's going to be. Uh, so I should have movement still, maybe. What do you think? Tying a rope should be just an action. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So I will attempt to kind of like shimmy my way down towards the 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 bottom of the roof and away from the fire if I can, but whatever I can so do. So you just trying to, to get out on trying to you just try to crawl through the hole back on the inside of the roof? Well, not on the inside. What I'm trying to do like um, try to get downward so I can Goblin Ghoul, and hopefully he'll grab the rope and, so, and hang on so to me. So if you were right here, then try to like throw it to me that way? Uh, probably like, not across through, the through, through the fire? I would say not through the fire, but uh, right down below me. You mean, right. so that way you could see. Uh, and I'll just, and uh, like I said, just come and grab the rope. Oh, you mean uh, down? Okay. Oh, like you yeah, want to throw it down this, this way? Yes, right down there. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Not, not, not across the fire. Okay. Gotcha. Definitely not across the fire. Uh, you can, you can throw the rope down there. Like, okay. All right. And I'll attempt to move down towards, let's say, <clears throat> excuse me, got some suck, suck in my throat. All right, make an acrobatics check. Oh, for excuse me. me. Acrobatics? Mm -hmm. Okay. How long does it affect last? Don't know. Fifteen. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, you managed to make it down to the edge of the roof, carefully All selecting right, so... your path. All right, and I'll just go right here so it's as easy as possible, and wait for Gobble Ghoul to come and grab the rope. Okay. Which is now tight okay. around me. I'll let fate decide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eru is gonna try to run. See if she makes it. Uh, nope. She tries to run, gets clawed down in the process. The dragon looks around a bit, sees that the townsfolk have all been—they're all running away—and. Uh, says something in Draconic. And uh, kind of whirls around a little bit. Like examining the area. And then says, all that time wasted, and launches himself up into the sky and starts to fly this direction. And myself against Probably the side making it thinking. outside the area before running out of movement, actually. So, like up going up that direction. Okay, Gabagool, your turn. All right. Uh, 10, 15, 20. And the fire's getting like really close to you, Mugog. Yeah. Let's see, I pull out my lucky dice oh wait uh you moved sorry moved. let's yeah. let's step back a second okay so when you moved outside move out, yeah go ahead and move back uh when you stepped outside of that uh gravity would have returned to normal oh really yep oh isn't that space yep uh so oh my gosh I've been, I'll hop You're just down. limiting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were done for, like. I thought, yeah. All, all you right, had to do was just step out. Okay, so then I will. Standing in the shallow. But... <laughs> I will, uh, okay. Then I will just. You could probably hop, you down. could probably hop down, too. It's not even 10 Without feet. Any yeah. Okay, I'll hop down. 
<laughs> and then <laughs> Booyah can do something else. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mean, I'm going to gobble, run. Gobble. <laughs> Oh, got go. Yeah, I guess I'll just stay here. This I'll, we'll call that my my movement. Well, you could get suck. you could get down on the ground. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Jump down. Okay. Jump down. And then Gobblegool, the you can do what you want this turn. Because <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, just... I, I was looking at that spell. It's definitely in. It's definitely not going to affect the wild magic that's only in that square. Oh, uh, how steep is this cliff face? <laughs> oh, can't you? I mean, it's pretty much straight down. And you're at the tallest section. Just jump down at the same uh, time. That's fine. I'll just try to... Hey, I got a rope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you keep that I was... as a reminder of your crazy magics. A couple places on the rope are still smoldering. It's okay. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll just go ahead and jump off and try to land into the tree. Um... Cast Feather Falls so he doesn't die. All right. Does it? Uh, I don't even care. I wouldn't die. So you start to fall, and you're like, I'm going to grab the tree, and then you're floating down nice and gently. There. I can fly. Two Booyah, let's just, go. And that's All just right. for my uh, lucky dice. And then Booyah. Right. Booyah, uh, let's get and down. then Mungvar makes his last roll. Hopefully. Come on, get in. And then uh, he hey. comes back with one hit point. And I'm going to lay on hands immediately and get another 20. Okay. Oh, nice. And then I'm going to look around. I'm going to yeah, start yeah. looting all these buildings that aren't on fire because everybody left. <laughs> yeah, the townsfolk continue to run. The dragon yeah. kind of flies around the area, but it's not really looking in the buildings. It just kind of flies around the area. You see it. I'll definitely be a couple of times. Like going for tree cover and bush cover and whatnot. Because I'm fleeing. So, Mungvar, how, how much time are you going to spend looting? Um, However long it takes to loot this building. This building. And then I'm jumping in the sewer. Okay. And going out. The, no. And going out the, huh. the bottom way there. Yep. Okay. Uh, during that time, the center building com is completely engulfed. The building on the left is completely engulfed, which catches the building to the north on fire. By the time you're gone, uh, the entire left side of the, the village, pretty much, except for that far southern building, is on fire. Oh, might as well loot it, too, after I pop out of that sewer. So. Well... Uh, so now that that one artwork is there. correct, when now, you when surviving. you come when you come out, uh, you can see kind of people in the trees starting to come back to the village. Oh, and they're oh, like, yeah. oh, "Grab buckets, <laughs> we can put it out." <laughs> and, and, gets caught. Caught. and so they start they start a, a water chain gang to start fighting the flames to save as much of the village as they can. All right, so I'm just gonna chill in the well for a bit with all my loot. Okay. Wait for them to leave, and then I'm gonna ride off on a unicorn. Ride off on a unicorn? <laughs> it came oh, back. Yeah, <laughs> you remembered the exit I showed you. So Mungvar rides off on his own, and the other three goblins from uh, the village of Mob Gobnob all venture away from the the village, virtually empty-handed. Uh, with just the tale of hey, surviving got, the red dragon. At least I got dinner. We lived. <laughs> I, All that for some uh, scrap food. I know it sounds <laughs> grossly unfair for me to Couple put a rats. dragon in the town, but... <laughs> you also got an iron ring from the beginning. <laughs> yep, I, I actually have that in my inventory, too. <laughs> I never gave that back. <laughs> Two rats. Sweet. Yep. Wait, no, we got... I got a shirt... And I got I got some food. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking you guys were gonna try to be a lot more careful, but I think you got bloodlust. Well, we got spotted. They screamed, and then yeah, Danica ruined everything. Like, I, I, if, I mean, if Johnny just started there, splitting throats. I, I know. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> she, 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 feel, there, if she feels uncomfortable opening the door. Why would she go to the window? Like yell for a guard and then peek out and they'd be like, "Oh hey, look at this dead person." 
ten feet away from that window. I don't know. Because there's weird people outside. You look out your window when that happens. Don't look out your window. It's your face. That's what I came up with. What with what she did. So you can like it or not like it. it. That's your prerogative. And she died for it, Ben. And you know who else died? Benjamin Jelinek. Yeah. I mean. Was it wasn't quite this. <laughs> Ew, it almost got to that point. Town already knew. Look at that. That's great. It would have got there oh, if the wire didn't get stuck in his gravity well. You know, I I was still just I just wanted I didn't want to. It could have been worse. People. I didn't want any of that. I just want to you know get us out of there. That's it. It could have been worse. You spent your spent your whole time just. <laughs> Hanging on for dear life. Uh, stuck in your gravity will. <laughs> it's like that li little video of the kid that's overthinking in the swimming pool and he's holding on to that little thing for dear that life. You know? Yeah. But, uh, but then his up. parents oh. like put his feet down to the ground and he's like, oh, okay. Yep. I mean, you had some that's interesting like, things you. happen, Wired. You definitely had some interesting things oh, happen. absolutely. I'm fine with, with being sidelined on this. Like, what would you guys think about else. playing a, a, a one-shot where you all played Wild Mages and just, just to see what happened? Because I'm pretty Ooh. sure it would be crazy if we played with that rule setting where every spell you cast cause, causes something to happen. That would be interesting. Would you be interested in to, the insanity? I'd, I mean, I'd have to like all, review up uh, another mage all, character, but we're all is it is it just is it, is it any spellcaster? Like you can be anything? No, it's it's just a, or, a sorcerer. Just sorcerer. Yeah, sorcerer. Yeah. Yeah. As far as the rules oh, okay. go, yeah. Yeah, but I did come across the class, tables for like, other like, classes. We're all apprentices. And like we came together for like some kind of mission. Of course, we're already changing well, the rules. I don't see why we couldn't make it any spellcaster if you wanted to. As long as you guys are okay with it, I wouldn't care. It would just be a one shot with homebrew stuff. But you know, there's there is actually something you could do is you could have like a wild magic area, and there is there are some charts for all classes. Oh, that's true. Wild magic. That's true. I came across that. I'm not yeah. using it because it doesn't add anything for my class. Yeah, I could do that. Like a, a wild magic area settles on the area you're in and whatever. Yeah. But what kind of a setting I, would you want to be in? That's the other thing. Like, I'd have to figure I, out some like kind of a the, mission. I'd like that idea of a, what Johnny was talking about, but adding on to it where, like, if we were all students in the same school or whatever, and one night we're trying to sneak out because we know of this wild magic area you know we're not supposed to go to and so we're sneaking out one night to go test it out and that's our adventure I got, oh, actually that books. gives that gives yeah. me an idea i have an idea that would it's work the let's forest in Harry what, what what if we yeah, what if exactly. we just did the or or even like sneaking out to the to the inn in town because you know you're not allowed to go down into town the whole harry potter thing you know oh yeah, yeah. hogsmeade yeah, the Hogsmeade, right? So you're just sneaking out to do that, but then like something happens that causes the area to be wild magic, and you don't realize it at first. And whatever we have to go up against, we're just using magic like crazy, but it's having all these weird effects. Yep, yep, yep. I think it'd be fun. I like it. Yeah. Especially since I've got both of these charts to pull off of, which gives it a whole lot yeah. more diversity. I wish I could get find that other chart of mine, but I haven't been able to locate the file for it i think it's on a thumb drive somewhere well, i'd say it, if, if we're gonna do if we can do it where it's choose. any spellcaster we should each choose a uh different a flavor. different yeah Perfect. different yeah. flavor yeah that sounds good i'm gonna shut the stream off real quick okay hey, hey thanks